What is up, everybody? It's the Inhuman One here with part 27, I believe, of the playthrough. Unfortunately, uh, part 26 was cut short just because we had some bad weather over here, but I think it's finally calming down. We'll find out. Um, but other than that, sorry for the, uh, the interruption there, but let's go ahead and jump right back into where we left off. We had just defeated the ancient dragon land sacks, and now we are working on actually uh, reaching... Uh, well, finding what's inside this cavern here behind this Miranda Bloom that was seemingly blocking this pathway here. So, let's see. We got the Perfumer's Grotto, so that's probably going to be a lot of fun. can only imagine there's probably going to be a bunch of Perfumers in here. And even more likely to be uh, enemies that we're just not going to want to deal with, such as the good old Miranda Blooms. So, I don't feel like getting poisoned, but unfortunately, uh, probably not something I'm going to be able to avoid too much here. I don't have a ton of uh, Dragonfly Heads. So I'll go ahead and just craft a bunch of fire grease so we can go ahead and be prepared for the worst. I'm going to go ahead and use 10. Anything that is, I guess, beyond our um, what we can hold on our person will probably be stored away, which is fine. So now what we can go ahead and do is have this ready just in case. We can tag this side of grace. Now we've discovered it just in case we need to come back to it for any point. And let's go ahead and uh, survive this thing. We'll go ahead and activate our lantern as well. It does seem like visibility will be a bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and make our way through. Got the budding cave moss. We'll go ahead and activate the summoning pool, although we may never use it. I don't think we're probably ever going to do co-op here. <laughs> I like playing solo. It's kind of what I do. All right, we got... Uh, a handful of these perfumers over here let's go ahead and see what the best path is I think it might be best to go ahead and knock this one out why not get a nice critical on them I don't know if that'll do the trick I think it actually defeated them perfect we'll see if any of these other ones want to come up and fight us if so they're probably gonna circle around here He's still actually trying to attack from the other side, so we're going to see if we can ambush him. I don't think he can reach the other area, so I don't know where he might have went. Interesting. It's like he just disappeared. <laughs> we'll get the rest of this budding cave moss as well. Uh, we got another perfumer over there. I have no clue where that other perfumer or set of perfumers went. Probably should attach this fire grease on right now. I feel like it's uh, a little late, unfortunately, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can attack some of these guys with some rock slings, see how much damage that does. We'll go ahead and attack this one as well. We have a perfumer to our right. We'll go ahead and attack him with two hands. Gonna dodge through this. Very nice. Took him out. We're going to run straight to the Miranda plant. We're going to do a jumping attack here. Set it right on fire. Looks like I'm in a pool of water probably to make my uh, fire damage much less potent but it's not gonna work this time so we're gonna grab some of this uh, we got a perform oh nice perfumer sarong and poison bloom and Miranda plants as well so very nice Miranda powder anyways let's come back over here and see if we can uh, find what other things these guys have in their little cave here probably some goodies for sure uh, let's see I'm going to jump here, do a running attack, attack the plant, get on the other side of it, and then attack it really quickly, see how much damage we can do here. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to get jacked up right here. Ouch. Oh gosh. Let me go ahead and use our wondrous flask of physic. And they come in here and attack this fool as well. We got all kinds of plants with buffs and everything. And we almost got poisoned, but we actually avoided getting poisoned in that treacherous area there. So I'm actually pretty pleased about that. <laughs> that was no fun. All right. Now we're going to work our way down here. And then we can grab this crystal cave moss. That'll be fantastic. Add it to our collection. And let's see. We'll grab this right over here. We got an Arteria leaf. 
Oh, we did come over here. This would have been the other area. Okay, I see now. So from the perfumer's cave, this would have been where that, that creature was at. And unfortunately, we're able to completely just bypass it. That's fantastic. I'm curious to see. I'm probably going to die here, but now I'm actually on the other side of this cave. So we can remove this. It's actually obtained from two sides of the same cave. That's insane. Almost died there. That was a terrifying jump to make. I'm going to leap down here as well. But yeah, we've actually been on the other side, and I marked this cave thinking that I had not or would not uh, find the path to the other side. But it looks like there's not too much here. Probably another set of perfumers or whatnot here hiding around the corners. We'll go ahead and take out these little guys. These Miranda plants over here. They are incredibly annoying. Just because they proc that poison all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare for the worst and assume that there's going to be another Miranda plant on the other side of this. Yep. And it looks a little different. Looks like there's another... Uh, oh, an omen killer as well. Lovely. Would this fire hurt the plant too? That'd be great. There you go. Now we can go ahead and heal up. Dodge away. Heal up right here. Three. He would just slash like crazy. Get the bleed and finish him off. Very easy. That was the first try. We got the great omen killer cleaver as well. And we completely avoided any of the bleed and the poison that both that duo would have possibly inflicted on us. Very happy with that encounter. I'm assuming that was the where the boss fog was right there. So excellent. Excellent indeed. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and take a look at the omen killer weapon that we just got. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to create a marker for myself so I can know that we just defeated the omen killer there. So marker, I'm going to call it omen. Very nice. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual blade itself that we just got from that big bastard. We've been wanting the blade for sure. For quite some time, actually. Look at this weapon. This weapon is just beautiful. The meteoric ore blade. I can't wait to allow myself to use these eastern weapons. They're going to be probably far, probably the best. <laughs> All right. And I wish that was just a one-handed blade. That would have been so nice, but that's okay. I like that it's kind of something of a twin blade, something that I've never used really before. Okay, but we're looking for the one weapon that I cannot find. Ah, but that's right, we could try this right here. Uh, order of acquisition. So I guess we're going to go this way. The very last thing we got uh, was, of course, the Great Omen Killer Cleaver. And it causes blood loss build of a 55. That's excellent. That's really good, actually. That's a great axe, believe it or not. It requires 23 strength, so not so bad. The blade of this huge, loathsome cleaver comprises a row of amputated omen horns. Weapon of slaughter wielded by omen killers. The hideous horns cause blood loss, adding vibrant colors to the ongoing mayhem. And the skill is wild strike. That's an excellent weapon. So this cleaver is considered a great axe and if you guys want the great omen killer cleaver all you have to do is actually head over to the perfumer's grotto which can be reached a number of different ways but from the grand lift of dectus if you just head over to the altus highway junction and go on the northern side of this giant bridge here leading into the actual capital of landale itself you'll find a cave being blocked by a miranda plant and uh you just go right behind it and you'll see the perfumer's grotto go through it navigate the cave and you will find the actual uh, sword that we just located for yourself. So that is incredibly exciting. I'm so glad we're able to find that. Um, that is really good indeed. So let's, um, that kind of wraps up this area. So now what we can do is see if we can travel over to the Bower of Bounty. Uh, this area is going to be important because we didn't actually search the Erd Tree area. I can't believe I forgot to go there. I think for whatever reason I was so fixated on the Mirage's Rise puzzle. And I still have yet to figure it out that I bypassed it entirely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to waypoint number two. And waypoint number two should lead us to the Erd Tree and whoever its avatar that is guarding it is. And we'll be sure to take them out as quickly as possible, of course. Completely missed that strike there. That's okay. Very nice. Took out that little worm face enemy there. Let's see. And no, I'm not being mean. That's, I believe, his actual name. 
the official name of those ugly bastards is Wormface. We'll do a little something fancy here. There you go. Very nice. Again, these weapons are incredibly powerful. I'm so happy with the out the outcome and how much damage we're doing here. It's just so good. Okay, so we're going to go this way towards the actual Erd Tree itself. And see, the difference between most of the other areas, the base of the Erd Tree was just really odd. It was just hard for me to see because there's so many other trees nearby as well. So, But we actually searched all around it, oddly. Completely just bypassed all that stuff. Let's go ahead and take out these Guardians with some... Uh, rock Sling, one of my favorite sorceries, of course enhanced by the Meteoric Staff. He sees me. Big boy. Wow, that is a big one indeed. He is part of the, uh, the loading screen, I imagine. He fights a lot like a Mimic. Very nice. We'll go ahead and dodge him. I feel like we can stun him. Nice. I'm gonna dodge back here. That was a, a grab attempt, it looks like. Another grab attempt. We're gonna get grabbed by him, see what happens. He is eating us alive. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. He's got some range on him with that long neck of his. Another grab attempt there. He did grab us, that's unfortunate. This munching of his is relentless. I am spamming the struggle buttons here and just having a heck of a time even getting to him. Again, it reminds me so much of a minute. There you go. We're going to go ahead and pop some more New York sorcery. We're going to get grabbed here. Spam the shoulder buttons again. Make sure we don't get killed by this attack here. We're also going to need to go ahead and uh, survive this right here so we can go ahead and pop some more health. I need to remove that um, fire grease. He's going to launch something in the air. We'll go ahead and finish him off with melee. No need to let this drag on anymore. And that is Wormface. That is one of the field bosses guarding the Erd Tree. I'm going to go ahead and create a marker there. we got the Crimson Spill, Crystal Steer, and the Speckled Heart tier as well. We got worm face here, boys and girls. Very nice. Let's take a look at the Crimson Spill Crystal Tear and the Speckled Hard Tear. That was a tough fight, only because I was kind of fighting him the way he wanted me to fight him. I should have been much more aggressive and stayed close to his feet, but that's okay. We're going to go over to our key items, and we got the Crimson Spill. This temporary boosts max HP. And then we also got, let's see, I think it was the Crimson Burst as well. Could have very well been. Steadily reports HP for a mixed time. Yep, that's the one we got. Let me just double check here. I remember reading something different. Speckled hard tier. Yeah, boost resistance and heals and mixed physic. Okay, that's what we got. So if you guys are wanting those two tiers, you can attain them uh, by defeating the worm face avatar guarding the minor Erd tree. So let's go ahead and check around the base of the Erd Tree to see if there's anything else, like maybe a basin. We did destroy the guardians that were right here, uh, except this guy, of course. He's still living. This guy's still kicking it. Totally missed some of those strikes. So we're going to go ahead and use our shield just to be safe. Get a backstab or something similar. <laughs> we'll go ahead and use one of our Cerulean Flasks, and we're going to take this opportunity to go ahead and clean up our inventory as well. Very nice. And yes, we do take tons of extra damage because we are actually uh, using and equipping two Sore Seals. A Sore Seal and a Scar Seal, so. We've already been here, and we searched all the nooks and crannies here and found everything, I believe. So, I'm happy with that. Let's just search around the base of the tree make sure we didn't miss anything else. I think we should be good to go. I think we're set. We've got two little friends down there we can definitely attack. Uh, I say we go for this one. Let 
There you go. Now we have all of our flasks returned. And if I can get this blue one, we'll have these as well. Very nice. Now we have our flask of cerulean tears filled as well. So I'd say that was a good run. Okay, perfect. So we've taken... Oh, that was scary. Oh, my uh, opaline damage negation tier kind of just broke right now. That's fine. Let's go back to... Uh, this area over here, the uh, near the Lux ru Ruins, it's going to be the Erd Tree Gazing Hill, and we're going to speak with Millicent. I want to progress her quest line a bit so she can go ahead and uh, have her prosthetic arm attached. I know that was she was wanting, she was longing to help us in battle and be a warrior similar to, I think, Millennia is who she was referring to. Now, I'm tracing the path Millennia took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. We'll give the Valkyries prosthesis. Are you giving me this arm? I thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think if the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Excellent. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. I really do like Millicent. She's an excellent character. So I'm interested to see where her story is going to take us. Now we need to go ahead and head north to Brother Corrin. Um, he is going to be just north of the Altus Highway Junction side of Grace, which is a, a nice crossroads over here. Let's take Torrin up there so we can move a little bit faster. And traverse this area as quickly as needed so we can make it to Brother Corrin and let him know that we've actually found the noble gold mask himself. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys because I don't want them sneaking up on me while I'm talking to Corrin because, yes, I will listen to all his dialogue. All right. Let's go talk to Corrin now see what he has to say. Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then. Would you like to learn an incantation? Sure. Let's see what you got. Well, nothing that I can actually use, unfortunately. My faith requirements are relatively low, so it would be something that I would, again, like to boost up. Somehow, my arcane stat is to up to 12, and I do believe that's because of Queen Merica's seal. So not terrible, but I still lack a lot of the faith required to use these. So let's go ahead and tell the Noble Gold Mask's whereabouts. Do, do you sport with me? From your description... It can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the golden order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. May the golden order shine through you. Absolutely. Okay, so now what we can do is I'm very curious to see if maybe we can go from the road of iniquity and go over to the Noble Gold Mask and see what that does. By going into this area, we're probably going to actually trigger the next progression of this quest line. So I do believe that there's a uh, spirit geyser just down the way. Who the hell? Hmm. I think I defeated all of these guys, actually. And I'm pretty sure I looted that chest as well. Yep. They're mad. They are totally mad at me right now. Lovely. How am I locked onto the wrong guy? There you go. Little heal punish there. the range. Perfect. The Trina's, Saint, the sword of Trina is a little short for my taste, but it does the trick. Go ahead and flask up again. I'm going to destroy every single one of these people now just because I'm angry. They'll understand. This entire encampment is going down now. 
three strikes. I'm gonna get a backstab then for that, good sir. Especially for not deflecting off of my shield. Very nice. Okay, that encampment's down. You know what? We'll let those trolls go because they didn't do anything and we've already destroyed them before. So now we can drop down to the spirit geyser and then we're going to take a boost right back up. And then we'll be able to speak with gold mask. Look at that. Corrin is right here as well. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you, I have become acquainted with the noble gold mask himself and taken my place by his side, as you can see. Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly, such that we not disturb the great master's cogitation. That's excellent. Okay, about the noble gold mask. The master is always deep in contemplation, while I frantically attempt to recall his wisdom, the movement of his finger, and though I am yet to comprehend even the daintiest morsel of his wisdom, I know that this, this is my life's calling. The golden order has bestowed me, talentless as I am, the great duty of documentarian. Very nice. Let's see, I think he still has the same sorceries. I don't think anything new has come. I don't know, that looks kind of new. <laughs> Maybe he added a few. That looks new. And... Maybe Honed Bolt? I don't know if these are new. These might be from Gold Mask, right? Or whatever his name is. One of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalist produces a Ring of Light and fires it forward. The Ring of Light returns to a position close to the caster before disappearing. This incantation can be cast repeatedly. A gift from the young Michaela young Michaela to his father Radigan, huh? Oh, here's some lore. Look, one of the incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult summons a lightning spear and hurls it before the caster. Charging causes a lightning bolt to strike the point of impact. Long ago, Godwin the Golden defeated the ancient dragon Fortisax and befriended his fallen foe, an event that gave rise to the ancient dragon cult in the capital. That is incredibly interesting. That is the uh, the lore for the lightning spear item. That is nice. Okay. Very nice indeed. Well, I guess he did teach us some new ones. Let's see if we can speak with... Uh... Goldmask is still just doing his thing. So maybe we're going to have to progress onward to see if there's anything else. Let's go up to the windmill heights and see what we got. All right, one second while I search for, uh, my, read my notes here, just one second. All right, let's go ahead and uh, speak with Millicent here as well. Look at that arm, it's actually working perfect. Oh, we meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. Excellent. I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need it is the only way that i can express my thanks okay she's been an invader to us before and she was incredibly difficult i guess this is now her new movement point or waypoint so she's no longer near the erd tree gazing hill okay no worries no worries so now what we can do is we'll go ahead and uh, go back to the erd tree gazing hill we're going to try and search as much as we can in this area as well um, pretty much the Mount Gelmir area itself, and then we'll see if we can circle back to uh, some of the uh, the good old, I guess, uh, the Volcano Manor itself and do some assassination quests. Okay, so let's see here. I want to go up to that Rosa statue. I don't know if I actually activated him yet. Uh, he seems to have been satiated because normally if 
we actually found and uh, discovered the catacombs that he was pointing at, he'll no longer be glowing and you won't see that trail. So maybe we already found it. I'm sure we did. This is where we fought the Tibia Mariner as well. I think we defeated him. And if I recall correctly, there was, yep, this Seathwater River here. Let's go up all this area here and see if we can search this valley. Tons of stuff that we might be able to find here. I'm not exactly sure what, but bound to be some good stuff, I'm sure. Okay, so we're going to head towards the Seathwater River. Well, hold on one second. Let me just make sure. Let me take a look at this map here. I think we'll be fine. If we go this way. We've got the Wyndham Catacombs, Wyndham Ruins, Old Altus. We've been to those. This is where we got abducted by those uh, Iron Maidens. Okay, okay. Just making sure. There's going to be some skeletons here that um, spawn, but we're not too concerned about them. They're not too bad. Not too bad at all because... If you defeat them and before they resurrect, you just pop them once or twice, their remains do not resurrect, so then they're just dead permanently. Let's go ahead and grab this crystal bud. I am curious because several days have passed if I can actually grab that sacramental bud and if it may have actually replenished. I have a feeling that it's permanently been removed from the nodes here, but I'm also hopeful. It's almost like they don't want you to form sacramental buds so that this, the lake of rot can always be painful and sucky. Yep, we grabbed the node, so I don't see anything else here. That is unfortunate, but that's okay. I expected as much. Grab some of this sweet, sweet herba. Uh, let's see. That looks deadly. That's the Wyndham Catacombs. I thought I could find Seathwater Cave from down here. I thought there was a safe way down. Could have sworn there was a pathway somewhere around here. Ah, here it is. Excellent. That might give us some damage there. I'm surprised it didn't. Okay. Now we're at the uh, base of Mount Gelmir. We picked up some volcanic stone. We'll go ahead and tag this site of grace. Just in case we die, we can return. Very nice. Oh, we got 63,000 runes. Let's go ahead and use those to level up. Ooh, just shy. Just shy. I'll have to use some items then. Just to give myself that extra oomph. Let's see here. We'll go with some of these runes here. Let's see. I wish it said how much it gave you. 800, that's not going to cut it. Well, whatever. We'll kill a few enemies, we'll have enough, and then we'll find a side of grace, right? No need to fuss about that right now. I think this is where we came down from, that, that actual cave itself. That must have been the Abductor Virgin Cave. Yeah, so we've actually been... And some of this area here, it's not all familiar to us, but some of it definitely is. I'll go ahead and jump on Torrent so we can expedite the traversal here. Speed it up just a little bit. These are just skulls. Okay, nothing special. There's some volcanic rock I could have grabbed, but... Got a few uh, little geysers here just spouting out. They're probably going to do some damage to us, if we're not careful. It's just like the... Uh, the forest in, um, what's it called? The Princess Bride, where the, uh, the guys are just spout up every few moments. It's like clockwork, he says. But we don't want to fight the R.O.U.S.'s, the rodents of unusual size. I think we're okay here. We'll jump back on Torrent, just to make sure we don't accidentally jump into one of these geysers here. Grab some of this volcanic stone. Get 
the smithing stone five. We have plenty of resources. I am really eager to go back to round table hold so we can uh, upgrade some of our weapons and also some of the other weapons that we had been looking to purchase. We're also going to give the twin maiden husks a number of bell bearings, which will definitely increase, you know, how much, um, how many items I suppose that we can actually uh, upgrade. So let's see. We have a forked path here. I say we go left. Even though there's items and stuff over there, just taunting us. That's just not my style. We're going to do this instead. There it is. Nice two-hit combo just to finish him off and do the trick. Looks like there's a uh, some sort of imp statue over there that's actually creating a barrier to prevent us from getting inside of here. I am very curious as to what that is. Let's check that out really quickly. Who are you? Oh, you're just an enemy. Just worshipping this Michaela's lily, it seems. We went ahead and grabbed the uh, smoldering butterfly from him. Yeah, I definitely want to use this. Why not? We have plenty of merchants that we can find that would allow us to get a handful more if we needed. Yeah, this is definitely a cave. Let's go ahead and activate our lantern, and we'll go in here instead. Let's see what we got. There might even be a site of grace we can tag that will allow us to level up. Seathwater Cave. Very nice. Excellent. We will rest here as well. Okay, if I can. There you go. Alright. See if we can level up. Just a bit shy. I'll definitely use something to flask up there. And then, uh, let's see, I guess that's really all we need to do there. So let me go ahead and do this. Um, inventory. That should do the trick. It's probably, what, 1,000, 1,600. Okay, look at that. Now that's plenty. We should be able to level up now. I'm not trying to pass time. I'm trying to level up here. Boop. Going back to this. Now we're going to have about 45 dexterity. That's my goal anyways. All right, let's go ahead and head down here. I don't know what's in this cave, so I want to kind of be a little bit cautious. Have our shield and sword load out for now. We've activated the summoning pool. We can go ahead and grab this cave moss. Got this genius over here. These guys are easy peasy. Very strong right now, and I'd say very appropriately leveled for this area. Take him out. I don't wanna I didn't want to go for a critical hit. I was just trying to slash again. Maybe next time I'll just back up a bit. That way we don't have to go through that animation. I'm not getting any benefit from it because I don't have the assassin's crimson dagger anymore, so I'm not actually healing at all. So Alright. Let's go ahead and grab some of this uh, crystal cave moss. And let's see if we can safely navigate down this series of platforms here. Nothing too fancy. Of course we're gonna get poisoned in this water we don't want to stay in it too long so let's see if we can run we don't roll we don't want to get covered in it okay now we're here on this platform very nice got me all right the poison is just about gone we're definitely going to get poisoned though which is unfortunate so let's see if we can just kind of map out where we're going to be going I'm gonna head this way if possible. We got some poison grease, which is ironic. Just kidding. Now we're gonna head this way. We'll go ahead and take out this enemy as well. No need to be concerned about getting poisoned. We're definitely poisoned. Stand on this rock here. Uh, definitely a pathway up here. We can search. I was hoping to actually guard counter that. There you go. Once I just throw this in here, I definitely need to check my mess because I got an important message I'm waiting on. And he's dead. Very nice. Just one moment. Alright. All good to go. Uh, we have this pathway over here, which we can definitely search here in a moment. And then we have whatever's over here as well. Trying to do my best to avoid 
taking damage. Uh, looks like that entire area is pretty full of just these mushroom enemies here. Lovely. We're gonna get poisoned here, that's okay. Go ahead and take everybody out while we can. Looks like if you sit in the poison clouds, it does damage over time as well, and it increases the damage that you're taking significantly. So, always be very careful about that. Uh, there's like an area we can drop down here that I'm not comfortable doing just yet because there was another pathway there. I don't know if that's an illusory wall. I doubt it. We haven't seen too many illusory walls in caves or caverns, but we have seen a handful in other areas. We've got this genius over here. Let's go ahead and take him out. We've got another one up above to the right as well. That's unfortunate that he survived that. I have to use two sorceries on this one. Go ahead and take this one as well. We'll dodge and get covered in poison. And then spam a second one. That's two casts. Go ahead and grab this item right here. We got some preserving boluses, which are fantastic. Those are great against the scarlet rot. Not necessarily against standard poison, but that's fine. That is perfectly fine. I'll take it. So now let's go up and around this area. It looks like that was maybe a teaser to say, hey, you can find an alternate pathway. Uh, let's see. Kind of lost my area. I think I need to go this way, actually. And we can circle around. Grab some of this cave moss here. Then get my shield out just in case something. Oh, good gosh. Just in case that happens. That's disgusting. They remove so much of your stamina. That is insane. I cannot function with mice this large. And of course, they're rodents of unusual size, right? We were just talking about that. How ironic. We got a lump of flesh, which is appetizing, considering they're probably eating that guy alive. We're going to come down here. Unfortunately, there was nothing too special about that area. I thought that was going to circle back up and around so we could get to that other area, but I was mistaken. I'll go ahead and grab the poison bloom, considering I am already poisoned. And then we'll find a way up this other path. There's got to be a way up. Definitely going to be a way up. We just need to find it. So now the poison accumulation that we have is just about wrapped up which is good. We have a few pathways down here, just trying to make sure I don't get ambushed by anything, so looks like we're good to go. I swear, that looks so illusory in nature, but it is not. So we have this pathway over here and this pathway. Let's go in the poisonous looking pathway, the nice dark ominous one. That way I can circle back around. Okay. Very nice. We're going to keep an eye on our health. We have about half health, and the poison has stopped ticking, so we're fine. The guard counter is just incredibly powerful. I love that technique. An excellent mechanic in the game, and one that, even though it is easy to execute, it's, um, it's easy to get punished as well if you time it poorly and just spam it. So now we've circled around. We've got the Golden Rune 7. And we can go ahead and grab this item as well from this dead dude. And we have some crystal cave moss as well. Let's go back over here. I think I saw another pathway before we drop back down and go to that clear path. These guys. Okay, of course. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to flask up and then go ahead and utilize, not equip, our fire grease here. And then go ahead and prepare for the worst. So we're going to do this and attack this pool right here. Nice. We're poisoned, so it's fine. Now, I think they're also buffed as well, it looks like. And they're all dead, so not so big a deal. Oh, hold on. We got mushroom head, mushroom body, mushroom arms, mushroom legs. <laughs> Did I just get a mushroom set? <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Okay. Uh, I would love to check it out, but I'm also being poisoned endlessly, so let's see. Do I not have any boluses I could just use? Thank you, thank you. That's going to go ahead and get rid of it, and that'll allow us a few moments to actually read what we just obtained. We got the mushroom set, guys. That's really awesome. 
I'm going to actually create a marker for that mushroom set. Let's go ahead and take a look at it as well. Uh, I would like to put it on just to see what it does. Maybe it decreases my poison uh, resistance. Look at that. Mushroom head. The mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms have colonized the head. To those enraptured by the scarlet rot, they are holy vestments that root one to the earth. That is insane. I wonder what kind of stats they give. Uh, I guess it would make a lot of sense to look at that. So let's just take a look and see. Uh, I don't see anything about... I guess immunity would be poison. Yeah, that's, that's huge. That's huge there. Let's just take a look at how cool this set looks before we uh, remove it. That's so awesome. Look at this. I look like something from The Last of Us. Look at that. That is insane. That is the mushroom set, guys. And if you're looking for this beautiful thing, all you need to do is actually go into the Seathwater Cave. It will require that you use a stone sword key, but in order to get from here, if you head over to the uh, Seathwater River, which is actually just north of the Erd Tree Gazing Hill site of Grace from uh, just north of the Dectus Plateau, you can circle up here where the Rosa statue is, come around this pathway here, and you'll enter a valley. As you enter the valley, you're going to see a forked pathway. Don't choose left or right. Instead, just go straight into the Seathwater Cave after you use the Stone Sword key. Once you do that, you'll find several pathways that are going to lead you through to the, um, this underground poisonous area. Stick to the darker caves, and you'll eventually reach the other side. And look at this. You'll look amazing, just like me. You'll look cool like me. All right, that is awesome. We're going to use this for the remainder of this cave just because I do want to have some sort of resistance here. But anyways, it is on the top side of this ledge. And, you know, it might actually be better if we just go this way so we can circle back to the other path instead. But that is amazing. That looks great. I would love to have, like, a poison uh, build that's just based around wearing this set. So I might do a poison-only run with the mushroom set on. That's just something to consider. Matter of fact, I'm going to write that down. Ideas. Mushroom set. Poison only run. And it's very possible. There's poison darts and things like that. Uh, we could even utilize some of the jellyfish ashes that actually inflict poison as well. We have options for sure. So we're going to come over this way. And I think once we come up here, uh, there's a way to pick let's see, one of two pathways. I'm not mistaken. I think I might have circled around again, didn't I? Tricky, tricky. So it's this path right here. So you're supposed to go that way if you want to grab the items. This way is the way out, I believe. Or at least the way towards the boss. And watch. It's probably going to be like, hey, since now you have the mushroom set and you no longer are going to be in poison, here's just a bunch of ground for you that's safe. <laughs> you can unequip that silly set now. All right, at least there's a stake of America right there for us. That's fantastic. Go ahead and drop down here. Drop down to the second platform safely as well. Number three. Get attacked by these geniuses. Grab some poison bone darts as well. Very nice. So have this pathway and this pathway. Wouldn't you know it? Options. This might be the, the mist gate here. Yep. I can see from the ominous glowing light there. Perfect. And then, of course, we have whatever's up here. Rats. And the golden rune six. I'm going to go ahead and pop one more flask just in case. And then uh, I'm imagining that we are going to probably be in a pretty bad spot here. So I am going to go ahead and uh, go into my inventory and pop another one of these. Just in case I have to fight some sort of plant-based enemy or anything that might be weak to fire. So we're going to go ahead and traverse this mist here. Of course we're in poison, which is lovely. Got the kindred of rot. Nice. Looks like they don't like fire that much. I didn't realize that. Would have been nice to know while I was 
you know, fighting them forever. And Caleb. And we got the Kindred of Rites Exaltation, which must be some sort of charm. Fortunately, the poison wasn't really an issue, but let's take a look at what we got. I think it was indeed a talisman, so let's take a look and see. Um, it looked really cool. There it is. Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. Poisoning or rot in vicinity increases attack power. A talisman depicting the exaltation of pests raises attack power when poisoning or rot occurs in the vicinity. Rot for the Scarlet Goddess, O oh, Scarlet Blossoms, flourish in distant lands and return to us the unwanted children. That is interesting. If you guys want the talisman named the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation, all you have to do is defeat the Kindred of Rot inside of this cave here called Seeth Water Cave. Again, you do need to go ahead and obtain um, or use a stone sword key to gain entrance, and once you do, you can obtain the mushroom set as well. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and create a marker for that too. I'm going to create a bunch of markers here, and that's going to be called Rot. Very nice indeed. Now I can go ahead and unequip this. I absolutely love that set though. It just doesn't fit my build right now in terms of uh, my RPing that I'm doing here. So let's go ahead and equip our prisoner clothing. We did have the royal remains on, but let's see. Where are my royal remain gloves? Right there, and then we can go ahead and equip the... I'm looking for the trousers, my uh, prisoner trousers. There they are. probably be best for me to come down here and actually tag the site of grace once again just so that I can have a resting point and refill all my flasks so we'll go ahead and do that all right we'll come back up here get to the surface and then we're gonna, we're gonna take a right which is technically just a left in that initial forking pathway there we got these geniuses down here. We'll go ahead and take them out in just two hits a pop. These zombies are really more annoying than anything else because they're just in the way for the most part. They like to do you know, poison type techniques and things like that, but in the end, they're just not very effective. They're just more so annoying. Very nice. Got some mushrooms for that. Very good. Grab these volcanic stones on the way over there and... Uh, Take out some of these enemies as well. I mean, the max down, that's kind of overkill, but that's okay. Oh, I got grabbed, lovely. Got another genius over here. Thought I killed that one. Let me go ahead and pop a flask just so I can have full health. We'll grab some more volcanic stone. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be used for, but I'm certain that if we find any nomadic merchant cookbooks or anything like that, they're probably going to use this as an ingredient. So we got some herba from this guy over here. All the fauna is just running away. There must be something nearby. I'm anticipating a boss fight in this area. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't feel safe at all. I'm definitely looking out for something here to just ambush us. And that's why I looked up as well, just to see if maybe there was maybe a like a dragon or some sort of giant creature that we faced out before. I see no such thing. All right. Now we can continue circling past. Just avoid these geysers. Those things are spewing all kinds of hot fire right now. We just don't want to mess with that. And there's nothing else over here on these sides either, which is great. It just allows us to take a straight path to the item outside. Let that fire burn, and then we'll see if we can grab this item. Oh, maybe not. It's got a huge AoE on it, but we've got the fireproof dried liver. That might actually be useful. The steam probably burned us, to be honest. I'm so shocked that there wasn't anything that it could hurt us and no ambush but we're back to the road of iniquity so we must have come through here and underneath so hmm let's go ahead and search whatever is on this side then might as well 
I think I may have already done that, to be honest, but it's fine. We'll continue searching through. Hopefully, it actually takes us over here. That's right. We're going to be right underneath the road of iniquity. Okay, perfect. So, let's go here. Let's search what this might be and pick up some of these volcanic stones along the way. I'm going to go ahead and jump on torrent so we can speed up the traversal. Something's being attacked. Golden Rune 6. We got some mushrooms as well. Not the melted variety, just the regular kind. Something is getting jacked up over there. There might be a battle going on. So I'm going to go ahead and rest here to make sure I don't die. Alright, very good. So, let's see what we got. Okay. 21,000 runes. Not going to be sufficient to do any kind of leveling or anything like that, but that's fine. Oops, hold on. Accidentally shut my computer windows down. I thought I shut down the stream. I did not. Good for me. Okay, cool. So let's keep going this way then. I'm going to jump back on torrent. See what's behind this uh, this area over here. I see jellyfish, and typically jellyfish indicate some sort of secret, whether it be a secret path or secret area or secret item. They just have secrets nearby. And I don't want to hurt them because I do like them in real life too they're amazing creatures but I don't see what they're hiding usually it's pretty apparent oh there you go we got a stone sword key over here thank you guys they never fail to have secrets and I don't like to attack them but sometimes they aggro for some reason and I don't like that when they aggro, it's 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 time for war. We're gonna go ahead and sneak down here, avoid some of these. I think they're fire monks, actually. So we're definitely gonna avoid them if at all possible. We're gonna get a backstab on this fool right over here. There's somebody chasing me. There you guys go. That was terrifying. Very nice. I saw the glowing flame getting closer and closer, and I was like, oh gosh, I'm going to get hit right in the back. But anyways, no, we did not. We survived. Let's go ahead and uh, try and spot that other chariot of fire, whatever it's called, because I don't like those things. Facing off with them from the front is probably the worst thing you can do, so we want to definitely try and go away from that if they can. They're going that way, so we should be fine. Let's go ahead and attack these guys really quickly. Finish him off. Oh gosh. We've got a sorcerer in close proximity. There you go. Get the smoldering butterflies. Staff of the guilty. Very cool. I'll gladly take that. Add it to the collection. Uh, let's see. We have this little chariot here making its rounds definitely want to avoid it if I can but I'm fairly certain it's going to spot us we're going to get the backstab on this one because he can't drive got a little friendly fire going on anyway very nice we're going to go ahead and dodge past this flamethrower technique I'm glad that they can't actually like kind of spray back and forth like that that's what I was anticipating very nice. We made quick work out of those enemies. I thought they were going to be much more difficult, but we were able to take them out. Very good indeed. Okay, cool. So now I can kind of search this area comfortably without fear of getting attacked from those chariots. I say we search all this area and then over here, and then we go into this big fort that's behind us. what happened there I can guess all oh, y'all tried it didn't you try to attack me from the back like a coward and yet you missed I just keep searching just to make sure okay uh, we'll go ahead and grab whatever this guy left for us why not Probably some smoldering butterflies or something of the sort. 
looks like they were facing off with these enemies, and that's probably the battle that we were watching unfold. All right, let's take a look and see what's on these cliff sides. There is uh, magma everywhere. That's fantastic. Lovely, as they would say. Okay. Hmm. I thought that deer off in the distance was a stake of America or a summoning pool. I was like, what is that? Oh, yes. My favorite. Sacramental bud. Yes, please. I can use it to make preserving boluses. Any chance I can see this beautiful plant, I will definitely harvest it. Alright, let's continue working our way around here again. Even the little things like that, just circling behind a fort. Something like that is just fantastic and I'd say incredibly rewarding. This is another entrance to the actual castle itself. An enemy that I have not seen before was in that area. I'm actually going to come down here and I think with the rain being here, I'm actually at a, an advantage here. The fire sorcerer shouldn't harm me as much and he's dead anyways, but in the event he could get something off. It wouldn't deal as much damage, so. Okay, I think this is just the other side. I'm going to go ahead and dodge this genius. we got the big fire monk behind. Let's see if I can inflict bleed. That will stagger him and finish him off. Got some volcanic stone. That guy was kind of just off in the distance. Yeah, cheap bastard. Okay, now we got that. Very good. Let's go ahead and circle back now. Got a bunch of volcanic rock, but I'm not going to grab every piece just because there's just uh, so much. I can, I know now that I can farm here if needed. So instead what I'm going to do is just go ahead and safely navigate the rest of this area. Go towards this magma over here. And I'm sure there's going to be some platforming that we have to do or something. There's a summoning pool. I guess I wasn't totally crazy. And then I would wish there'd be a stake of America nearby, but I guess the Sight of Grace is close enough. Very likely going to be an enemy in here, so let's just prepare for the worst. I'm going to go ahead and flask up. Oh my gosh, the magma one came out. Okay, hold on, bro. Okay, that'd be nice. Gonna get out of the magma. Flask up. I'm gonna go ahead and get my other flask ready just in case. Lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and use the flask of wonders physical here. Dodge to the side. See if I can get some good strikes in on the head. Okay, or not. We got the damage negation, so we're good. He needs to get out of his own magma. Though. That makes it pretty difficult for us to get to. He's gonna scrape. Yep. He still grabbed us a little bit. It's okay. We've fought, we've fought a handful of magma ones before, so we should be okay. But he has a lot more health than the rest, so. our attack power real quick as we try and tag him in the tail or do some kind of damage here. He's going to do some sort of spin around, I can tell. Alright, he's walking around on two feet. We know they don't let him live this long. I'm disappointed. There you go, dodge that. We're going to go towards the feet. And we're going to hit his tail instead. Big retarget. Get in close. Get a heal punish, that's okay. Better than dying. Nice. We need to go ahead and heal really quickly here. Got to make these hits count. Finished them off. There you go. That's Magma Worm first try. That's a great enemy fell too. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and create a marker. And we got a Dragon Heart for that. Got another Magma Worm. I think that's our third Magma Worm if I'm not mistaken. And we have a new Draconic ability as well. We have plenty of those hearts. Uh, let's see. Very nice. Now we can kind of navigate. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, mountain of fire. Bake me in your flame. That sounds like Iron Fist Alexander. <laughs> what are you yelling about? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, this is actually safe. Very nice. We're a smoldering butterfly. Not worth it, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what are we? I don't. I hear him yelling and just enjoying his magma bath, but I don't see him anywhere. 
That might be him. What are you doing over there? He's probably trying to solidify his ceramic. Bake me in your flames. He's a jokester. He's really funny. I, I know he wants to be a serious warrior, and I do take him seriously, but he's also kind of a clown. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to get over there? Just a uh, torrent, I guess, maybe? Uh, let's see. This might be a tough area to navigate. I don't have a ton of fire resistance either. And no poise. So if I get staggered with the fire, I'm probably going to be stunned and die. We got uh, one of uh, Mikela's lilies. A variant of the Trina lily or St. Trina's lily. This dude's way over here. Okay, how the heck, bro? I'm afraid I'm going to take a lot of damage trying to get to you. Okay, it wasn't so bad. Golden Rune 3. Torrent, I love you, man. You're so awesome. Okay. Oh, gosh. Pillage remains. I can actually talk to him from here. Ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that flesh and form forms. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a T. Oh, nice. That, that's a helmet, guys. It's hardly more than lukewarm, yep. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Hmm. Above the lofty clouds. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Okay. So in the ice, there's an ice giant place, and it's near the clouds, and apparently. That'll be where we can uh, find him next, I'm assuming. Torrent, you're amazing. I love how freaking mobile he is. What an amazing creature. Okay, and instead of going to this fort that we found, instead we're going to go ahead and uh, continue searching around, and of course we'll circle back. But I think this little cliff here would be excellent to search, if possible. So my next thing to do would be like, how the heck do we get over here then, I wonder? So from the abductor virgin area, we should have probably come this way. That's fine. I'll find out all the secrets. Don't worry. So let's go ahead and check out our new helmet that we got. That would be uh, a jar, which I'm so happy we got. It's freaking awesome. Look at this. A jar. A jar that fits cleanly over the head when upturned. Made with pride by Iron Fist Alexander. In a uniquely jar-like gesture of friendship, it boosts the power of throwing pot items. So that's actually pretty important and pretty neat. I would say that that would be something that could be unique and even utilized in like a jar only type run. I think that's really awesome actually. I absolutely love the fact that they did that. Um, <laughs> that is just so cool to me. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and uh, continue moving down south along this pathway and uh, man, that is awesome. I absolutely love that. If you guys want that for yourself, you do have to be progressing um, the uh, Alexander, the Iron Fist uh, quest line, and to, to start off, you do have to save him in Stormville Castle. You don't have to meet him in the Gale Tunnel, but you will meet him in Radon Festival. After that, you have to save him from his hole in Lyernia of the Lakes, just south of the Karian Study Hall. And then from there, he'll say that he's coming to Mount Gelmir, so that's where we met him next. Once you get him all the way to Mount Gelmir, he will provide you with the jar helm so you can have it and equip it for yourself and that's such a cool and unique item i actually love that we got that you demi human bastard how could you do that oh gosh they've got like enhanced perfume fire bombs or something these things are devastating they have fire that deals damage over time as well that's not good i'm gonna switch over to my shield to be honest 
That way I can at least block some of that. Take the brunt of some of those strikes there. Maybe that's what the volcanic stone's for. Let's see. Let's circle around here and make sure we didn't miss anything. I doubt that we did, but I pride myself on being thorough. Yep, nothing there. Just a nice arteria leaf. Uh, hopefully nothing spawns at the edge of this uh, set of ruin or coffins here. We've seen that happen a few times. But we were rewarded greatly for it. Alright, we'll grab this item as well. Golden Rune 6. We are just about rolling in these uh, golden runes at this point, which I love. Go ahead and activate this summoning pool. That must mean that there's a stone uh, or a troll nearby if there's an item like that. Let me just double check here. Yeah, that's going to have to be broken by somebody pretty large, which is probably going to jump off somewhere from here, right? But the question is from where? They can jump pretty far, and they don't seem to take any kinds of fall damage. There's probably one up above behind us, right? It's got to be. I'll try and use his ability, but I doubt it'll work. Okay. Now you try and hit me, good sir, with your club. I uh, didn't quite have the oomph we needed. Hmm. So typically, a troll would do the trick. I don't see any trolls nearby. Maybe we can aggro one from the other up ahead, maybe? Got these demi-humans over here. These guys love to sling stuff at us. Got the Hermit Shack. We got Roiling Magma. That is an incantation for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, it might have actually been a sorcery. This is one of the sorceries developed from the magma of Mount Gelmir. Fires a lump of condensed magma that explodes a short delay after hitting the target. Charging enhances potency and further delays the explosion. After discovering the ancient hexes of Gelmir, Rykard, son of Queen Renala, brought them back into practical use as new forms of sorcery. So Rykard is the son of Queen Renala. Another, I guess, child of Queen Renala would be, of course, Rani. So we have Renala, the queen, Radigan, the, I guess not a king, but maybe a king, I guess. And then we have Rikard, the son of them two, and then Rani. So I wonder if they have any more children. Very interesting. So if you guys are looking for that roiling sorcery, all you have to do is go to the Hermit Shack, which is actually a pretty bit far away from where you'd know, you know, from the... Uh, the Altus Plateau, where you're probably going to end up entering this area. But once you're up on the plateau, you go to the Erd Tree, tree Grazing Hill. You get all the way to Seathwater, uh, the Seathwater River side of Grace. And you're going to make a left at this fork in the road here. It's going to take you underneath the Road of Iniquity. And then you'll see a fort here, which we're going to bypass for now. But if you go all the way around to the edge of this area, you'll see the Hermit's Shack. And that is where you can find... The, uh, the sorcery that was created by Rikard himself. Okay, that's awesome. Very cool indeed. I am not sure how to destroy this. I could try a number of different things on my return. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if there's maybe a troll or something that we can aggro. Because that is the only way I've known to break those. That's going to do the trick. This rune beer will do the trick. Come here, Rooney. The demi-humans are coming in hot. Let me go ahead and take them out. We have excellent range on this weapon anyway, so this sorcery is beastly. For some reason, the rune bear just lost interest. I'm not sure why. I'm kind of actually offended. Yeah, you're not going to sleep. That's fine. Go to sleep, you big bastard bear. Okay, we know you can slam this. So just go ahead and slam this, will you? He killed me instead. That's fine. And he stomped on the demi-human. That kind of makes me feel a little bit better. 
There's Blade. Blade was pretty cool. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, uh, wow. Make a trek all the way over <laughs> around to the side. Hopefully, I think the Magma Worm will stay dead, but I'm not sure about the rest of these guys. These Fire Monks are probably still going to be kicking, so let's just see if we can uh, find the quickest path. Unfortunately, we found another item. A mushroom. Go ahead and bypass these guys here. I don't think those fire chariots will chase us too long. I hear some Landale soldiers uh, definitely doing some guard counters over there. Those guys are getting fancy with their techniques. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and move onward this way. We're going to circle around so we can avoid the demi-human fire brigade over here. That bear was pretty powerful. Um, can deal a lot of damage, so we're going to go ahead and take out these guys as quickly as we can. I'm going to grab my runes, though. I had a nice amount. Nice. Okay. These are not your standard uh, demi-humans, that's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and destroy these up here in the Hermit Shack. Just to make sure I don't get ambushed with that bear running around. There you go. And then whenever the other demi-humans start to aggro when that bear comes out of nowhere. Any second now. Let's see how far that goes. That should do the trick. You can come over here, bear. We'll take this guy out as well. This one next. There it is. He's got some long range beast roar over there. You're just not going to want to attack me, are you? You're right here. I, he can cover that ground in no time. Seriously. We'll go ahead and equip our shield and go in a little bit more aggressively, see if we can bait him. Lovely. There it is. Right there, we're gonna keep regenerating some stamina here because we're all jacked up right now. Dodge over here, there you go, get a good angle on. Go ahead and get the critical. Oh, or not, that's fine. Completely missed the opportunity for the critical, but we did stun him and we're able to take him out. We got hefty beast bone and beast blood. Let's see what we got from here. Smithing stone 6 times 3. Not bad at all. That's an excellent haul. And at least now we know how to crack that statue, right? <laughs> I'm actually going to put a marker there so we can know how to do that. So how to break that statue there. Statue. Very nice. Now we can go ahead and move forward. There are some demi-humans. I thought there was going to be a handful over here as well since uh, they did kind of come out whenever the other ones roared. So... Let's just make sure there's nothing back here. Of course, we have this genius taking a nap. We can grab this lily right here. We've got a pretty good amount of flasks and um, health, so we're pretty good on that front. I'm just going to have my uh, health flask ready just in case. I'm not sure if there's going to be any other enemies nearby either, so I'm going to run up here pretty quickly so we can avoid any of those projectiles they're going to fling at us. There it is. And we'll go ahead and run this way. She's going to posture. Very nice. Two hits and it's dead. One hit is all it takes to actually trigger that sleep effect. And we got one gravel stone. 
That is again an ingredient used for the dragon wound grease. I feel like I hear a teardrop scarab. Let's see if I can get a better vantage point from up here. I swear I hear something t tinkling or twinkling or whatever it's called. Twinkling. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I don't know. Because if so, that means there's a teardrop scare. There it is. I knew I wasn't crazy. Give me that. Very nice. We can go ahead and flask up. Since now we know we'll have plenty of the I should have flasked up before destroying that, though, to be honest. That would have given me... Or left me with 10 versus me using one and now getting nine, but that's fine. You win some, you lose some. We don't, I don't think we need a full 10 flasks to make it to the next side of grace. We have another 62,000 ruins, and we're just leveling like crazy over here. We can go ahead and activate the summoning pool, and then there's another area just off in the distance here that we can still reach. So I have no clue what this is. I guess we're on the other side of here, so. We'll go ahead and search all this before we come back around. So this is great. I think this is kind of where we may have uh, come out from the abductor virgin area. Um, but I could be wrong because I don't remember seeing any of these items. I wouldn't have passed these anyway. So this is the craftsman shack. The good old craftsman shack. All right. Let's see what we get over here. The pulley crossbow. Very nice. Let's take a look at that. Ranged weapons. Well, okay, here it is. The pulley crossbow. A crossbow made with pulleys and power springs. The complex mechanism, which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft, was likely made by a certain genius who learned golden order fundamentalism. One touches, one touch fires a volley of bolts. Be warned, large stores of bolts can be quickly spent, and the skill is quick is kick. So this requires 16 strength and 16 dexterity. But it seems like a really, pretty much like the Avalon, maybe a very um, technologically advanced bow, which is awesome. I really like that. Let's go ahead and circle back up and around and see if there's anything else over here. So we'll go ahead and uh, continue searching around this little pathway. So we're going to go all the way over here, see what all we can find, and then we'll just continue searching around. You know, I think that at some point I need to go back to this fort. But, you know, it's fine gonna go let's say over here and then this would probably be the next point so waypoint number two should be the trick Michaela's lily right behind that craftsman shack there and the craftsman must have lived here he is clearly somebody that understood gold order fundamentalism and that i guess requires mathematical knowledge and some sort of tinkering genius what are you doing what are you guys whoa what are you doing what are these little things They're like demi-humans. Oh my god, but they're cute. A great knife. Thin beast bones. And we did kill that little batch of enemies there, so we're able to replenish our flasks. Good thing is we're right next to a... Oh, I guess we could actually tag that side of grace and level up, right? We'll just wait and see what all's over here. I see... Uh, it looks like an abductor virgin off in the distance, I believe. Hard to tell from this angle. Yep, that's what it is. Come to Papa. Oh, lovely. Okay, that's fun. Yo, that, you're going too fast. What is wrong with this? One? It doesn't have a head, so this is crazy. Okay. I get it. You don't have a head. That one is insane. We got a rickety shield. Very nice. This one's definitely malfunctioning. And it's dead though now. Whew. That was a lot. Okay. <laughs> and it didn't leave me anything, so it's stingy too. Alright. 
So that one didn't have a head, so that must have been something that maybe the craftsman made or something, but he definitely needs to quit with that stuff. He may have very well created those. Got the sacramental blood bud times two. Uh, another little village over here we can check out. I'm just making sure there isn't anything tucked away back here. All right. What do we have over here, my friends? We got these little guys. Let me go ahead and take them out because I don't want them throwing stuff at me. Or not. He's just going to jump down anyways. Lovely. Fantastic. I'm just tanking all these hits because these guys are tiny, but still, it's annoying. I see the demi human uh, chief over there. sleep. Night night. Stab him right in the head. Just to make sure he's got nightmares. <laughs> that dude's gonna wake up with a headache. I'm just gonna say. He's gonna wake up really mad. Let me go ahead and jump up on this roof if I can. It'd be fantastic. If not I'll use torrent but I'm trying not to rely too much on my steed. Let his little legs rest. Or not. There it is. We got some string. I feel like there's a way from one rooftop to the next. But I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and destroy this chief as well. He's gonna just posture, that's fine. Not gonna let him beat me. Not a demi human. These are one of the first enemies we ever saw, so to be killed by him at this point would be really upsetting. We got the errant sorcerer manchettes, boots, and the robe altar. Take a look at that after I kill this guy. Clear out the area. See, that looks like a troll over there. Gold tinged excrement. I see a sorcerer as well. So let's go ahead and uh, head back in here. That way I can show you guys what these, um, what these garbs look like. And then we can go ahead and uh, continue on. There was an altered robe here. The Errant Sorcerer. A commonplace robe made of thick cloth worn by the Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm. One of the first tarnished to visit Round Table Hold. Interesting. A silent seeker of sorcery who had gone so far as to make contact with the primeval current. Wilhelm was led by guidance into confrontation with his fan Vargram. And it is said that he was then taken prisoner in Round Table Hold. Wow. So the Errant Sorcerer was one of the first tarnished to visit the Round Table Hold. You can find the Errant Sorcerer set um, here in this little, uh, I guess it's this shack over here, right across from the Star Sh Starlight Shard Basin um, in the Hermit Village. All right. And, of course, the Hermit Village is just going to be on this... Uh, upper plateau here of Mount Gelmir. You technically have to go through the Seathwater Cave and this is a valley here. You circle all the way around through this pathway. You follow my cursor all the way through and then you can actually come across to the Craftsman Shack and then the Hermit Village. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. We've got some sorcerers over there. This is the Prattling Pate uh, little Kind of like the carved wooden thing saying hello in Dark Souls 2. Let's take out this sorcerer real quick. Nice try. You guys are spending much more time posturing than actually hitting people. There you go. You might be more effective if you actually hit people more. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, climb up here. There you go. Uh, nothing down there but insta-death. We can go up to this um, little basin here and grab the starlight shards. We already knew that's what it was going to be because that's what you always find around those items. Oh, I see some sacramental bud off in the distance. We'll go ahead and grab that. But let's first grab this item over here. 
Let's see what this guy dropped for us. A glowstone. And we got Hirdas' glintstone crown. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Hirdas' glintstone crown. I hear something. You. All right. <laughs> now can we read? Kyrdas's Glintstone Crown. We've got plenty of these crowns now. This one has a, a blindfolded guy. They all give you some sort of benefit to uh, increasing something at the cost of another attribute. One of the Glintstone Crowns bestowed upon Ray Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy increases intelligence and endurance to the detriment of FP. The Crown of Hirodas was granted to scholars who engage in the nomadic study from the Academy. Or away from the Academy specifically. That is really cool. So again, uh, let me go ahead and show you guys you know, what I obtained here. We'll go back to the map. If you're looking for Hirodas's uh, Glintstone Crown is here in the Hermit Village and this shack right here. So you just follow the same exact path from Seathwater River. You go all the way up. This is of course on Mount Gelmir. You're going to go through this path. Circle all the way around past the Hermit Shack and past the Craftsman Shack. When you get to the Hermit Village, there'll be the battle of uh, the Errant Sorcerer set over here. And in this shack, you'll find right behind outside of it in the corner, tucked away the Hirodus Glintstone Crown itself. Very nice. I am liking that indeed. It's a fun little area. It's got lots of uh, goodies just kind of hidden about. We got the pulley uh, crossbow too. So, I mean, they're just loaded here. Lots of good loot. Okay, we're going to troll over there. Demi Human Queen. That's not a troll, it's a Demi Human Queen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got another sorcerer. Ouch. That is the wrong flask. The demi-human queen Maggie just destroyed me, but she's not too bad. It was more so the humans all around, and they seem to come out of nowhere. We'll go to the stake of America. I have no clue where that's at, but... Demi-human. Maggie? Like, what is that? What is she going to give us? We're at Mount Gelmir. That's the stake of America right there. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. They're going to call upon, of course, their chief. This guy's not going to want to drop down. He's smart. That one's not so smart. More posturing. Alright, your chief is dead. And they still have all the confidence in the world. Usually they kind of back away and cower away sometimes, but not these guys. Alright, hey, there's a little one. I, I saw the debris just shifting around. There's no way. But there was a way. Sorcerer will drop down. That will give us ample opportunity to go ahead and strike twice and finish him off. Two strikes for the demi human as well. Everyone's taken two strikes. What manner of sorcery is this? Very nice strike from the demi human. I'm going to switch over to my trusty hook claws right here. We're going to grab this sacramental bud that I forgot to loot. Can you believe that? I'm actually kind of glad that I died. If I didn't, I wouldn't have been able to grab this loot here. Alright. I'll go ahead and use my rock sling sorcery to dispatch this enemy right here. Can't believe it took more than one. I'm not really trying to kill her, I'm just more trying to aggro her, to be honest. The Demi Human Queen staff was amazing. I used it for the primary part of my run until I found the Meteoric staff and discovered how effective the uh, gravity sources were. And she's stunned. But not for long. 
just trying to bring you up here. I don't want your little sorcerer friends to hurt me. Go ahead and run up, see if we can get a critical or not. Your crit time is like non-existent. Take out this sorcerer. Then the human queen Maggie, you are a pain in the butt. Get another sorcerer, just spamming sorcerers from afar. Got tagged in the head from Maggie. There you go, Maggie's dead, but I gotta kill this fool. Wait, he just died? He got a memory stone. He just fell. Okay, so he must have been somehow tied to Maggie. And Maggie gave us a memory stone, which I am pretty much done using at this point. Um, I have too many sorceries equipped, so at this point it was actually becoming more cumbersome to fill in every single one of the slots. I'll just collect the memory stones for the sake of completion, but I only have about five or six um, sorceries memorized at this point. Whoa. Okay, that's not... That's an NPC. Because that one's not attacking us. Looks like another type of uh, sorcerer. Very cool. Okay, let's go talk to this person. Nice. Let's tag this real quick just for the sake of safety. Right, and look at this. Looks great. I don't even know if he's alive. <laughs> I can talk to it, okay. We got the new <laughs> we got a spell called Comet Azure. Uh okay. I don't know what this dude is. He doesn't talk anymore. He extended his hand ever so softly. This guy is awesome looking. He's like covered in glintstone too. That is amazing. Okay, cool. I have no clue who the heck he is. Uh, we can level up as well. We have 88,000 rooms, so we can definitely go ahead and level up here. We're really close to that 45 dexterity. We're getting three, uh, you know, attribute increases to our damage every time we level now. It's pretty nice. The last time we got two, but before that we got three as well. So it's just continually or steadily increasing. Um, I don't know who that sorcerer was, but he definitely did not... Uh, <laughs> he did not... Um, talk with us. He just gave us a source. I guess we could go ahead and check that out. And now that we have a site of grace right next to him, we can actually return back to the fort that we bypassed over past the uh, the magma worm. So we'll go ahead and check that. Let me see if I can talk to him again, just because I did rest. Maybe he's willing to say a little bit more. But you don't even have the dialogue option to speak with him. So that's really interesting. Let's go ahead and check out the source where he gave us the comet Azure. Uh, if I can find it. Sorceries. Oh, that's right. Let me go ahead and switch order of acquisition. There you go. Fires a tremendous comet within a starry torrent. It requires 60 intelligence. Legendary sorcery devised by Azure, the primeval sorcerer. That's who that is. Fires a tremendous comet in a torrent akin to the distant starry expanse. The place said to be the origin of Glintstone. Hold to continue releasing the sorcery's power. When Azure glimpsed into the primeval current, he saw darkness. He was left both bewitched and fearful of the abyss. Whoa. He glimpsed into the primeval current. So I wonder if that errant sorcerer became Azure, or maybe Azure is just a different sorcerer altogether. That is really interesting. So we will come back here. I'm going to actually mark this as a treasure so I know to come back. Uh, 
primeval sorcerer is already marked on the map for us. So let's go to the Seathwater Terminus and head over to waypoint number one. This should allow us to at least get into the fort and see what's all going on there. I have no clue what's inside, so I'm pretty excited to see what we got. Oh, lovely. That hurt really bad. Let's go ahead and get a backstab and maybe a handful of strikes here to finish him off. Three will do the trick. We got this genius over here as well. Alright. So there were two... Well, maybe not. This is not an entrance. The entrance was on the side then, off to the, uh, I guess, the, the northern side of this map. Let's go ahead and take these geniuses out. This is where we got one of the, uh, the stabs that they dropped. Some of that good old blood sorcery and the smoldering butterfly. Alright, there should be like a fire monk over here. I don't think he'll notice us if we're careful. Yeah, he noticed us. We'll go ahead and take this little one out. You're not going to go sleep, are you? Yeah, you are. Oh, he shook it. Very nice. He actually shook it. All right, now we can work our way up inside the fort. I guess this is the only entrance. And we'll see what's inside. Oh, my gosh. We got Smo 2.0. You know how we fight these guys. We don't use shields. Oh, goodness. Come here, big boy. Oh, he's raining down all kinds of help. Okay. He is a master sorcerer and pyromancer. He's going to be in that fire. Okay. Yeah, that hit him right in the face. Okay. I see what you're about. Range sword with two bub. Okay, he finally stopped doing that stuff. He doesn't last forever, that's nice. And he's dead, so it only took a few seconds, but even so, we got Prelate's Inferno Crozier. That's a lot of words. Prelate's Inferno Crozier. Let's take a look at our melee armaments. And we got this weapon right here. It's a colossal weapon. Uh, this requires 45 strength. My gosh. That is insane. Okay. So, this is a colossal hammer with the appearance of roiling flames. Weapon of Prelates, who led the fire monks. Its heft represents the weight of their guardianship. The hammer's head is unusually substantial, and strong attacks will fling foes into the air. The skill is Prelates Charge. I'm, uh, I'm surprised it's not a unique skill, but... It slams armament into the ground to create a surge of flames, then charges in. Hold to continue the charge. That is insane. If you guys want Prelate's Inferno Crozier, which is technically a colossal hammer with fire damage, all you need to do is come up to this fort right here, which is Fort Laid. And once you come into Fort Laid, um, you will fight Prelate. It will be a handful of monks fighting some Landale soldiers, but nothing too special. So that is amazing. Let's see what else we can find as we're here. That was an amazing encounter. I need to actually put a marker for that. Bear with me just one moment. Marker. And then pray latte. Sounds like a delicious drink. Alright. So there's that. That door probably doesn't open from this side because why would it? Oh my gosh, I stand corrected. We got the Armorer's Cookbook 7. Let's go ahead and take a look at this as well. This should be a key item here. The Armorer's Cookbook 7. This allows us to craft the Giant's Flame Fire Pot. The Giant's Flame Fire Pot. Very nice. Okay. Let's continue working our way up here and see if there's any other goodies.
Bunch of dead dudes. Somebody's talking. This is Eek the Wretched Fools. I have no clue who's talking, though. Someone is saying, Eek, they'll never find me. Maybe if I break all these, it's probably someone that's doing a, a sorcery that disguises them, maybe? Kind of like Albus? I'm gonna break every single one of these then. Eek the wretched fools. It's not Bach, is it? Don't tell me. Uh, they'll never find me. Could be one of these dead bodies, right? Oh, you. Haha. -ha. Was it you? The fire scorpion charm. Hehe, <laughs> I'll survive, I swear it. I'll soon be back at the volcano manor. Well, I don't think you made it. That was too funny. I saw the golden glow, so we got the fire scorpion charm, which we know will increase fire damage, but reduce the negation of it. All those charms seem to kind of follow suit there. Why is there anything in this chest? Let me see. I don't really know where else to go here. I guess maybe that's it. Uh, let's just go back to this area then, over here. I think we're done here. Go to the primeval sorcerer Azure. The only other sorcerer we know of is Sorceress Selen too, so at some point we need to speak with her as well. I haven't talked with her in the longest time. I haven't purchased any of her sorceries either, um, because at some point I just kind of lost interest in the sorceries. Mostly I just like the weapon buff ones, and I was doing primarily, uh, you know, melee for the most part, so... I'm just a sword mage. I'm no master mage here. Let's go ahead and open this up, see where this leads us. This is another cool little area. I definitely like this. Um, I'd like to search it, but let's see what's over here first before we just commit to jumping in this area. There's like hundreds of wolves, apparently. They're all weak, though. There you go. Oh, okay. Or not. He's dead. Uh, are you coming? Alright. Very nice. I thought there was like six of you guys. Uh, I counted six, but maybe it was just five. Grab the mushroom over there. Very nice. We'll continue searching around and see if there's anything over here. Let's see. I think we're on top. Oh, we're on the opposite side. Okay. That's no Erd tree. There's another wolf. There's my sixth wolf. Come over here, friend. Very nice. See if there's anything at the peak of this rock formation here. Nope. Let's continue moving around on Torrent to see if we can uh, just explore this area a little quicker. Some volcanic rock behind us. Seems to be a way to actually cross over on this side, see? Yep. Definitely a way across. We've got a mad pumpkin soldier as well. Something's squeaking over there. I have no clue what that is. Uh, let's see, let's see. We'll come back over here and actually go inside of this area and then we'll come back around and destroy the Mad Pumpkin and then we'll come back around again and then end up exploring the, uh, the other side of that rock formation which we can definitely get to. Surprised there wasn't an ambush there. I love this Karian shield. It makes sense that he has it. I feel like this guy was 
he was definitely part of the elites, and then somehow he was imprisoned, probably because of his knowledge, or maybe his heretical beliefs of the Golden Order. And that's why I've chosen to defy the Golden Order. One second. All right. We're in the uh, oh the beast eye quivers. That means there's a death root nearby. We're in Galmir Hero Cave. Is that what it was? Let's see. Galmir Heroes Cave. Let's see who the heroes are. We'll go ahead and rest here, just in case we die. We actually have a place we can actually s sit down and rest, and we have thirty-one thousand runes to our name as well. Nothing to scoff at. We've activated this summoning pool that we will never use. I'm playing offline, so I, I refuse to I refuse to cooperate. Jolly cooperation. Jolly cooperation. Not happening in this run. Uh, oh, okay. Hopefully the executioner guy isn't here. Let's see if this is an illusory wall. Of course it isn't. Uh, lava. Oh gosh, there is an Executioner. Yep, he's dead. And he's gonna change direction, yep, this old thing. Same thing with the French Folk Hero's Grave. Oh, he just turned around real fast, didn't he? Alright, that's scary. Gotta jump over here like a crazy person, oh my gosh. This one's much more difficult. And of course, these skeletons do revive. I guess the ones that he kills don't revive, though. Oh, I got a longbow. Oh, you're just gonna do that, aren't you? Oh, goodness me. I don't know if that was the lava or actually the, uh, the chariot itself that killed me, but this is gonna be one of those kinds of areas, isn't it? I see now. There should be all kinds of goodies here. I can just only imagine. Oh gosh. Okay, here goes. Um, let's come back over here. Try not to die. We gotta retrieve our runes. It was a good thirty thousand, which I'd hate to let that go to a waste. I see him over there, just coming towards us. Lovely. I don't think the lava would kill me instantly. Nice. Fortunately, they die in one shot as well. He's gonna come right back down. Lovely. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Glad he didn't shoot me in the air. That would've been terrible. This guy likes doing his little karate chop maneuver. Then he's gonna move, okay. That's terrifying. He's coming all the way down here. I don't see any path. I see this over here. Oh my gosh, that's a move from Dark Souls 1 and you know it. That chariot's gonna crush him. I wonder, yep, he's gonna try and revive. But the lava killed him, so that's good. Boom, we go in there. Lovely. Oh, I got greedy, and I killed the wrong guy. <laughs> I got myself killed, actually. I killed him, but I stepped out way too far and got destroyed by that chariot. That was not good. Galmia Heroes Cave. All right, off we go. This is like, shortcut, you don't have to do any of that. I'm just kidding. That would be a nice illusory wall to have, but definitely not one that exists in this cave. Come down here, see if we can dodge these funny guys. Very nice. comes 
back up. We'll go ahead and circle around. Try to narrowly avoid getting shot in the back. There we go. That lava should kill him permanently. Oh, or not. Okay, I'm gonna wait till he comes back up. He's gonna shift right here. Start diving like crazy. It's almost like they have scripted little maneuvers here. He's gonna get run over by the chariot. Hopefully knock into the lava just like last time. Yeah, he's dead. I right, got this genius over here. He's going way down there. Okay, so we should be fine. We'll follow him down. Just to be safe. Executioner Chariot 2.0. But we've already seen this. Uh, kind of mechanic already, so it's not new to us. Oh gosh, he just jumped in the lava and he got himself killed. 2,000 damage. I don't think anybody has enough health for that. So we'll go ahead and see if we can follow him down. Looks like there's a pathway over there. A very narrow pathway, though. We have to commit to it. Otherwise, we're dead. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. There are more secrets down there. I can guarantee it. We'll go ahead and bypass it for now. Maybe there's a Stake America down here. Very nice. Nice ambush attempt. I could have chosen left or right, but fortunately I chose the right direction, right? Okay. Another genius. This guy didn't want to go to sleep. Nice! He, oh, he could have totally critical me there, but... He missed the opportunity. And I am happy for it. This guy's just, I guess, trying to forge that grave glove wart, but, uh, dude, just pick it. Just pick it and you'll be just fine. There's definitely going to be more items down in that uh, other side, but behind or beyond that executioner chariot area, so you just got to be mindful of that. There's definitely some goodies down there. No illusory wall. It seemed so smooth, I thought we were going to break right through it. Nope. There was nothing over here, I don't believe. That pathway just ended, but this over here did not. We'll go ahead and flask up. Uh, what's doing all that stuff here? Oh, nice move. And I think he died, though. He did great by backstepping out of the fire, and then he went right towards it. So he kind of just messed up whatever he had going. He had something good going there. Let's see if there's a way to... No, there's really no, no need to get on top of it, actually. Won't last forever, so we gotta be careful. Oh my goodness gracious, there's another Executioner Chariot. That's terrifying. Good gosh, that scared me. There's one behind us too. They've got a decent amount of poise considering. But anyway, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Surprised that wasn't a, uh, an illusory wall. So, yep, it's definitely going to force us to continue going through this area. We'll go ahead and take this guy out. Man, okay, that's going to be rough indeed. Okay, so. He's coming from down there. Uh, he then pauses, so I don't know if we need to go up or down. Go up first. Stone sword key. I'm totally dead. Totally dead. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not. Okay. You jerk. Oh my gosh. He 
He's never going to let me down. I have no way or no idea how to get down without dying here. That's not an illusory wall. How? There's no way. Not enough iframes in the world. All that for a stone sword key, that's so annoying. Stone sword keys are really good though, but not worth dying. I was hoping maybe a unique piece of armor or something. Okay, so now we're at the very beginning. We lost about 40,000 runes as well. We need to make sure we pick them up. But if we're going to lose those runes, which is very likely, um, we need to also consider using the Flask of Wonders Physic so we can avoid taking damage from that chariot. So let's sprint down here, and what we're going to do is we're going to continue down this pathway first, all the way down. Ow. Looks like this dude's still chilling, now he's dead. I think this is the one we follow down. Nope, this is the one we wait for him to go up and then we jump down. Okay. And we have to jump off to the side and avoid this arrow shot here. We've done it every time so far, but every time he gets more and more scared. I'm not gonna lie. He's in the lava, he'll definitely die. Oh, or not. He's lucky now. Chariot coming this way, it's gonna go and pivot right here. We gotta be patient in this area. These are all about patience and timing. I have plenty of timing, but patience, not so much. This guy's going to do his little dive attack. He'll die and then fall in the lava. Nice. Got the same exact attack. Alright, when he goes up, we'll go ahead and run down then. Yeah, it feels safer to me. He's got to go all the way up for us, though. And we're going to drop down here. Oh my gosh, okay. Lava is super... Painful. See, I, oh, he goes past the lava too. What a jerk! You've got to be kidding me. Pretty sure I can tank it though. We're gonna go ahead and wait for him to pass. I'm gonna see if that's an illusory wall though first. Quick step would probably be ideal though. Jeez, Louise, that's terrible. Oh my gosh, I am so dead. This has got to be a secret, right? Oh my gosh, I don't know if he's going to kill me or what, but I'm going to make it all the way through, I don't care. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Okay, and Lava didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. No traps? After all that? I'm surprised. They're getting soft on us, guys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got the Ringed Finger. Not sure what that is. It's probably a key item for sure. Let's see. Ringed Finger. Huh? 
Might be a tool then. I feel like it's a tool we can use repeatedly though, maybe. That's the recussant finger. Hmm, maybe it's a talisman? Not that I can see. Okay. Hmm. Hey, don't tell me it's a weapon. That'd be sweet. Range finger could be a staff, but it's not. It is. Oh my gosh. This is the hammer. Look at this, guys. The ringed finger. It's a hammer weapon. That is insane. Okay. So, this requires 15 strength, 9 dex. Just a regular hammer, it looks like. But, what does it do? A bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheathed in several heavy rings. Thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the finger creeper. Some... Uh, life yet remains in this legacy of an ancient act of blasphemy, as evidenced by the barely perceptible warmth it still exudes. Unique skill is Claw Flick. This will cause the finger to swell, then flex to build up strength before giving enemies an almighty flick. That is too funny. Like, what the heck? What the heck is this? <laughs> that is so awesome. Okay, I love that. I want to equip it just for a second, just to see what it's like. There it is. Go ahead and equip it. So guys, if you want this finger weapon right here, you can have it for yourself. It requires hardly no uh, strength or attribute requirements or dexterity requirements whatsoever. It's relatively easy to use. This looks amazing. We'll go ahead and two-hand it. Look at that. Swells and slack. That is insane. This has got to be the craziest weapon I've ever seen. <laughs> that is crazy. And if you guys want this weapon all for yourself, all you have to do is go to this terrible, terrible cave over here. I'm going to show you exactly which one it is. If I can find it, it is the Galmir Heroes Cave. The Galmir Heroes Cave can be accessed from the Mount Galmir area, which if you're not sure where that's at from the Grand Lift of Dectus, just go north in this valley way here, circle all the way around. Or what you could do is um, go to the Erd Tree Gazing Hill and come up to the Rosa statue, find your way around the Wyndham Ruins, go in this valley way right over here, circle all the way around, and this will be a bit of a trek. And uh, as you pass the Hermit Shack, the Craftsman Shack, and the Hermit Village, you'll cross this land structure here, and then immediately to the right, you'll see a nice looking grave. You go inside the grave, and then in the lava area where you're trying to avoid being killed by Executioner Chariot 2.0, all you need to do is actually um, keep heading down into the lava. And once you make it, you will find this giant finger for yourself. This is probably one of my favorite looking weapons so far. I am just so please that it's actually an, a weapon that exists this is so cool this is called the finger hammer if i'm not mistaken oh what an insane weapon ringed finger actually that is so crazy guys <laughs> anyways hope you guys get that if you want it that is an amazing looking weapon it's got some uh pretty decent damage too um but some quality scaling so i'm sure we could find a way to make that useful that thing is way too cool to not use but maybe for another build Okay, so now I need to go ahead and equip my, uh, let's see, my rapier, which is going to be harder to find now because, of course, I changed the order of everything. So let me see here. Acquisition or item type should work just fine. Thank you. And where would my rapiers be? There it is. Perfect. Okay. I still need to see if I can increase the, uh, my ability to um, upgrade my weapons because there's a handful that I'm definitely going to be needing to have upgraded. I feel like the best thing to do would be to upgrade my um, Ansys rapier that I got from, oh gosh, I 
can't believe I didn't die there. Oh my gosh, I didn't die there. I have no clue where I'm at. This is crazy. Where am I? <laughs> uh, what just happened here? This is a Erd Tree door gate. This is interesting. I have no clue where I just landed, but I'm glad I found that secret area. So let's see. Uh, there's also a ladder over here. The heck? I have no clue what I just found, but this is awesome. Oh, this is where that genius stops and turns. Okay. I wonder if I could jump on top of that thing. That's so annoying. Okay. Let's go in here. That is freaking amazing. Let's see what we found. Looks like a nice little alternate pathway that's not uh, deadly. Looks like we have the boss as well, which is very cool. Hopefully there's a stake of America nearby. I would love to not have to retrace my steps because that was incredibly difficult. But if not, we have to just win. <laughs> we have to just win if we don't. So let's go ahead and flask up just in case. I'm going to switch to my Flask of Wonders Physic and let's see who's beyond this gateway here. Another wolf. Lovely. Red Wolf of the Champion. Whoa, he's mad. See, so he doesn't seem to use Glintstone Sorceries, and then of course he's using it. He's not very strong, at least. He's with the same strength level as all the rest that we fought before. Oh, he's doubling up on the Glintstone Sorcerer's up and just dodge. Surprised I didn't die there. We got him now. No, we didn't. Okay, now we got him. <laughs> the Red Wolf of the Champion. Now, whose wolf might this be? Bloodhound Knight Flo. Bloodhound Knight Flo. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at that, Ash. Bloodhound Knight Flo. Ash and remains in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirit of Flo, the Bloodhound Knight. The spirit of a Bloodhound Knight they call the Rabid Stray. Will attack without pause immediately after being summoned. Flo vowed that there was only one lord he would serve, a true king, and so the rabid stray never found a master. That is excellent. I can't believe that's not a legendary ash. But if you guys want the uh, the bloodstained, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the bloodhound Flo ash, you can get that at the bottom of Mount Gelmir, or the, I guess the Gelmir hero's grave. You do have to actually go down to the ring finger, and then from there, you go across where the, the grave glove ward is, and then you act like you're dropping down, and you carefully navigate down that way, go through the two double doors, and then, and only then, can you make your way out. But there's still another secret over here, and there's even more pathways that I completely bypass. So I do need to go back to the entrance and, of course, retrace my steps. So we got the death route, fortunately. We need to go ahead and return to the entrance, quote, unquote. But we will have to go back. So that was the... Uh, Red Wolf of the Champion. Very cool. Okay, so now we're back at Mount Gelmir. We need to head back down this lift. But I don't think that's the extent of all the secrets there. I feel like we might have missed something. Any second now, once this lift comes up. Right, perfect. We'll go ahead and drop down again. This is not the end. I feel like there's another boss here. There's still plenty of secrets that we can discover, I'm sure. Uh, apparently because we missed an entire area. So the, there was that lava area, and then I think there was like another area that was not covered in lava, but it still had one of those uh, geniuses that we love to fight. Those freaking 
executioner chairs that we love to dodge. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough to level up, so that's unfortunate. That's fine, though. Okay, so here we go. Same thing as last time. Except this time, we have full flasks. So let's go ahead and run down here. We're going to trigger the chariot and the two skeletons. We're going to zigzag around, keep them up here. Shield up. Very nice. We got them both dispatched of. Okay, we got to wait for him to come back up. We'll jump down and then we'll avoid this archer. And get shot in the face. Very nice. Got the Grave Violet. And that one's going to die because he's just sitting in the lava, so that's fine. We'll make sure we chase this one down this time. I don't know where exactly we end up, um, but that chariot seemed to have no rider. I bet I could jump on top of it. So that will be my next theory. Very nice. My next theory will be to hitch a ride on top of that other chariot near that boss fight. Okay, so I need to make sure that... Is this one when he's going up? I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess when he's going up would be fine because he does have to turn and pivot, so it slows him down quite a bit. I could do either or, though. Uh, I hesitated. Hesitation will get you killed here. So we're going to go here first. This is the safe route. Alright, we'll go ahead and knock out this guy quickly. If we can. There's another one upstairs. We'll take him out. And there's one over here too. Another friend. Very nice. I'm glad they can't parry. We got the red branch short bow. Very nice. That seems like a unique drop for him. Very nice. Okay. Now we can come up here. There's going to be another one of those warriors up there, so we'll go ahead and take him out. surprised that the imp statues haven't started spewing fire yet. I guess they're permanently down. And I'm not complaining about that. I think we already searched that area as well. Nothing too special. There was a chariot over here. So we went up and we got stuck. Okay, we'll wait for that thing to come back up and then we'll go grab our runes so we can grab enough to hopefully uh, level up. Let's see. Yep, he's coming. Alright, we're going to see which pathway to go down. It looks like the left will do. Of course, we have a projectile bro over here. And he dodged all that. Ouch. Okay, we're going to kill this one right here. I'm going to flask up just in case. He's back. We'll go ahead and destroy his remains. I don't think that was entirely necessary, but at the same time, I didn't want to die. I almost got clipped by that. It doesn't give us a ton of time. There's like no time whatsoever. I have a tank I hit here. Oh gosh, they knocked me too far back. Oh my gosh, I just fell in the lava. I can't believe it. I am in the lava. I'm just freaking out right now. Oh, 
Jesus, okay, just go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Freaking cemetery shade of death. It's now a regular enemy, of course, because that's just normal. Good gosh, we have the Mantis Blade. I have no clue what I just got, though. It's the Mantis Blade. Okay, Mantis Blade. I'm freaking out. We're going to go to our melee armaments. Not die. Order of acquisition. All the way down. And we got the Mantis Blade. A curved sword with a blade at both ends, wielded by the Cemetery Shades, the insect-ridden Grave Keepers. The blade is thin and sharp, and strong attack unleashes a far-reaching slash. The skill is Spinning Slash. Okay. Very cool. This is a... A curved sword, not even a dagger. So this is a full blade, a full-size blade. Very nice. If you guys want the mantis blade, you just gotta get to the heroes. I uh, guess what's it called again? Gelmir Heroes Cave or Gelmir Heroes Grave, and you just have to continue kind of going past and beyond the the regular pathways that you would normally search with this genius guy over here. All we're going to do is run down here and going to try and slowly, slowly navigate this area. It's going to be quite a pain, but we're going to do everything we can. If we had quick step, we'd be much more efficient, but I just don't want to risk it right now. I hope that I don't die. I can't believe they would force you to take lava damage, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die here. There's no way I'm surviving this. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Wow. Okay. What the heck? We lost a lot of runes there. So down we go. I am so confused. Like, where am I supposed to go? I guess I should go ahead and equip a dagger. Just any dagger will do. Let me see. Anything with quick step. There you go. It's going to be my primary weapon. Come down here. Oh, hold on. Is this a pathway? Oh, no, it's not. We searched that already. No illusory wall there. Not for us. Okay, so down we go. I think the actual pathway was actually on the other side of those areas. So I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. I am not going to go kill these guys like this. Yeah, these enemies are way too strong. Rad says, you died. <laughs> What's up, man? I didn't even see you there. You're dropping 500 bits already? Jeez Louise, bro. How you doing, man? Thank you so much. You always come in like guns blazing. Oh! And I don't mind that. You're too kind, Rad. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, I need to wait until he comes up. These guys are ridiculous. Okay, jumping down. Gonna avoid this arrow fire if we can. Nice. Now, these skeletons are way stronger than I thought. The music record is not gonna be a good weapon unless I'm just using it for navigation. Rad says, no, I've been lurking most of your streams all day. I just haven't been talking. Well, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. I uh, had to end the other one because we had some really bad weather, so they were talking about some tornado type stuff. So we're like, uh oh. I think I hesitated way too much. I'm not wait I'm not doing that. I can't believe that lava slows you down. It makes no sense at all. But that's fine. They gotta have some kind of troll mechanic in this game. We're going to get slashed at. There you go. Very nice. That guy will probably just die in the lava, hopefully, if the chariot knocks him back far enough. Rad says, Wifey is having health issues, so I'm basically avoiding, still trying to do my best to do what I need to do on Twitch. Oh, man. Well, I hope everything gets better. Sorry about that, man. I hate to hear that. Thoughts are definitely with you, my friend, and your family, always. Rad says, well, to be honest with you, not really giving an F. To be 100% honest, I'm more worried about her health than anything else, but I'm still trying to keep going. 
Yeah, man, for sure. If there's anything, man, we're here for you, dude. I'm sorry about that. I don't like that at all. But, um, thoughts and prayers are definitely here for you, bro. Always. There's probably a safe way down there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. I'm going to try, though. Fudge. That's definitely a shortcut, though. And that'll take us to the other one. Okay, so at least I have a shortcut. Doing the best I can. Rad says, big love to you. Being a real friend to me, man, for real. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, I, I, I don't like when anything negative happens to my buddies, man. So it's like their families and stuff are, you guys, you know, you're doing everything you're doing to support your family. So, of course, I understand the value of family, man. It's just something that's always been so important to me. So I, I hope that uh, everything gets better soon. And if there's anything we can do, man, just, just let us know, man. Family is the most important thing. Family and love. But thanks again for support. I really appreciate it. And don't feel stressed about the streaming schedule or anything either, dude, for sure. Like, if you have to do other things because you know, other things are taking priority, that is perfectly fine. Everyone will understand. You have a great chat. You've built a great community. You know, you're not one of those, you know, people that just... You know, you're definitely a likable person, and everyone, they're very personable, and your community that you built, man, they're just here to support, so I guarantee that anybody would kind of say the same thing I did. I'd be surprised if they didn't. You just built a great community, man, so I know they would understand if you had to take a quick break, for sure. Rad says, regardless of all the Twitch stuff, no problem, man, I'm just in a dark place in my life right now. Well, I'm sorry, dude, I hate to hear that. But again, if you need to talk or something, man, just hit me up on Discord or whatever, bro. And I'll be here to talk to you if you need to talk through that stuff for sure. I am here for anything you need, man. And I'm just died because I suck at falling. I think that I could probably equip a different charm there. That's the one that doesn't have a writer on it. Maybe I can jump on its back. I'm trying to do something that I think is probably game-breaking. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not intended. But I would still like to nail that jump because I kind of got pushed to the side. It's almost like the collision detection was a bit off. I don't know, though. It's, it's almost better than me having to go through that entire gauntlet again. So I am going to keep trying that method maybe two or three more tries before I go down the legitimate path. All right, let's take this guy out real quick because these guys are actually a lot stronger than I thought. I do have the... Uh, Misery core daggers so if I need to uh, traverse the lava at least we have quick step if we need it but I'm just trying to bypass that altogether if I don't need it then I'm just gonna totally just get rid of that step in the process here oh my gosh <laughs> red thank you so much bro you just gifted five tier one subscriptions like I'm saying like that's the stuff I'm talking about man it's just that that support dude even when you're going through a tough time, you're still supporting and That's like, you know, you got to have a big heart to do something like that. So it never goes unnoticed. And thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you. More than words can even, more than, you know, I, I, what do they say? I can't express my gratitude. That's what the words are for me. More than I can even express in words like, dude, I appreciate you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You're freaking amazing. Now you threw me off my game. I'm dead. You're so kind that you made me die. I'm just kidding. <laughs> stop stop thanking me, my brother. You're the one I should be thanking, in all honesty. Oh, wow, 25. Heck yeah, dude. I did that thing you told me to. I did actually reset the uh, the thing for the month. You got this really awesome looking badge. Now, it's really cool. <laughs> oh, red. Uh, I love red, anyway. Red and black are my favorite colors, so... If you see that theme anywhere, that is exactly why. But heck yeah, dude. That's insane. And that's just in the short time that we've been doing this, man. It's like, once I get to a better spot, dude, you'll see just as much love reciprocated from that standpoint. I can assure you, dude, because you deserve it. You're going to be growing like crazy. And again, you always have a, a lot of followers, which is great. You're gonna, I guarantee that you'll reach partner. Um, 
just keep doing what you're doing, you know, because you get so many people to follow. You get, all the, you get a lot of engagement all the time, too. So, you, like I said again, you just got a great community. But you don't have a great community if, you can, if you're a shitty person, you know? So that is why you actually have some awesome people following you, man. Alright, what the heck? That guy always does that attack. Rad says, oh wow, this matches my name. <laughs> yeah, like perfectly. Literally known each other how long? <laughs> follow age. No, oh, I don't have the, the command for follow age. That was one of the first ones I tried to figure out, but I couldn't, like when I was first, first doing my, uh, my commands. So I need to add that in there, but I would say it was during like one of my Dark Souls 1 runs which would be probably like, I don't know, probably two months ago. It was probably like in January, bro. And I remember like I only had like 47 followers. And you're like, oh, let me get him to 50. Or whatever that magic number is for Twitch, you know. And you're like, that's all you need to be a affiliate? And I was like, no, because no one watches my stuff. <laughs> and you just got all these people to just start watching. Uh, you and Dave were like the biggest help and then I know that this other guy that Dave introduced me to was really trying to help as well and he got some raids in there but dude like since day one you've been the most consistent and like just always there and I actually chat with you the most of all so really appreciate it to have you like to have met you it's so funny because I remember then saying let me go watch this guy because he was so nice and then uh I was like oh my gosh he's doing this Dark Souls thing and then before long now you're helping with Dark Souls 3 and it was awesome man it's just been a journey and it feels like a long time but not a lot of time has passed actually probably like two months I'd say like since January okay I need to time this one right I am like not able to okay uh, let's go here I'm just gonna do the quick step method cuz I was tired of dying okay rad says damn you need follow age for sure for sure Red says, your words touch my heart, man. I appreciate it. It's a Nightbot thing. Yeah, two months. It feels like two years. I know. <laughs> it does, right? That's freaking awesome. Can you imagine when it is two years? Like, it, it, it's just, time just flies by. Or it actually, it, it's been not a lot of time, but it seems like it just flies by. But in all honesty, it's been a good two months, bro. Oh, my gosh. Wrong attack. Wrong attack. I need to actually be dual wielding it. That's so dumb. Oh my gosh, okay, I don't want to die. Quick step, quick step. We're doing the same strategy that we had in that one nasty swamp. I feel like this dude's going to come down now because he's just a troll. He can probably make it past this, right? Yeah. No, he's not, okay. We're just going to come over here. Again, super frustrated with this area just because of how trolly it is. But um, this is where I dropped down at one point. I didn't mean to do that. We're going to come back over here as well. Brad says, big love, my bro. I have 10k points right now. Like a freaking boss. Because you're always watching, bro. I saved it. I spent a lot of... I lost so many of my points in one of those gambles. I will never gamble as much as I did. I was, like, certain that I was going to win. And I lost, like, 5,000 uh, points. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm pissed. Because <laughs> I was trying to save them up for uh, all the trolly ones. You know, like... Reverse the controller and all that stuff because just you wait. I'm gonna start dropping a few of those bombs, but I'm just saving them up because I want to really, in the best of ways, make you hate me for at least one stream. One stream. No watch time either. I know. Okay, so cool. Let me see. Um, idea. I have a my notepad right here, so I'm gonna put Twitch commands. We'll do follow age. I do like those actually. I just didn't know how to program it because I just it was I was so new to Twitch when I was doing all that. And then watch time. Okay, that means like overall watch time. Okay, sweet. I will do that. Yeah, there's a ton of troll ones, man. My uh, I don't want to die. My um, troll thing that I'm gonna do once I start doing regular challenge runs, like I'll pretty much like play, and then you guys will be able to destroy my life. But any of those runs I do, there's a ton of really cool ones I have, like very similar to what you actually had incorporated. I didn't realize there were so many ones like that were so similar, but the reversal and um, the, uh, 
I have to use one hand on one of them, like everything's one hand, or and the other ones I have to drop the weapon I have in my right hand for the character. I have no healing, I have returned to the last save point, so just a bunch of trolly ones that just totally ruined my life. I am definitely going to jump on this thing, but I need to see exactly where it stops and pivots. Right there, holy balls, I don't think I can make that jump. Oh, I don't know if I can make that, I don't want to die again. And this is of course nothing. This is where we faced off with the red, uh, the champion, the red wolf champion. But there's another boss in here, and there's so many secrets here as well. So there's the stake of America. There aren't any additional pathways, so I don't know what the heck. Let me see here. Yeah, there's literally nothing over here. Just a bunch of this is literally like catacombs. Okay, so nothing there. We're gonna come back up instead. And again, Red, thanks so much for all that love, dude. The bits and the and the subs and all that stuff. Like, you don't have to do that, but I appreciate it for sure, man. Okay, how can I can I make that jump? I can make it. I will make that jump. Okay. I'm gonna stand right here and then do the thing. Okay. And maybe when he's turning, but if he's turning, I feel like I'm definitely going to die. This is like the riskiest thing you could possibly do. I guess I could use my damage negation. Totally going to miss this jump first try, but it's fine. Oh, gosh. Let's see. He's going to do this thing. Oh, fudge. Oh, my gosh. We got it. Okay, hell yeah. We're riding this pony. Okay, what do I do? I'm gonna get hit in the face, holy balls. Okay, I still got hit, so that didn't do anything. Oh, I'm dead. I already killed this guy and got the mantis blade, so I have no clue where else to go next. So r jumping on that thing did nothing. That did nothing. It was awesome, but it didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna leave this area for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little treasure box there just in case, because I'm pretty sure there's more stuff to it. I just don't know how to find it. I'm also going to unequip the Misericord weapon. And then we're going to go ahead and equip Roger's Rapier instead. I know that there's more secrets there. There's got to be. There's no way that that is the end of it. I actually don't know if there's another boss. I was just thinking. But it seems like a two boss kind of cavern. But maybe not. Because that was a pretty big encounter. And we did have only the one entrance or uh, the one exit side of Grace. So I don't know. But that cannot be the extent of the of that area there's got to be more to it so i will not let that sit i will find up in my cleanup stream that we do at the very end of all of this i have a nice list of all kinds of things we're going to be looking for unfortunately i use the markers on the map so i know exactly where to expect them to come from so i know what i'm looking for i know my little system of things so that way we won't really miss much at all also i do have alternate play files as well which um allow me to get you know any other like secrets that i might find i can always say oh okay i missed this on my other playthrough and uh i can always circle back around and get them all right that was annoying i uh tried everything i could on that i even jumped on that thing and i landed that jump like a boss but i was like well that didn't do the trick so i don't know i have no clue i'm gonna create a marker just in case just so i can remember that area i'm gonna call it chariot and then I'll probably end up watching the playback and see when I jumped on that horse, there was possibly some pathways to the left or right, but I don't know how to safely jump off the side because even when I did jump, I got tagged by it when it was pivoting. So that's a really difficult jump to make. Anyways, there's a bunch of enemies down here we can go ahead and take out as well. Uh, I think we got one of our little friends, the Mad Pumpkins. So we'll just safely traverse down this way right here. Let's see. Get that volcanic rock. And we need that sacramental bud for sure. So let me go ahead and uh, make sure this guy doesn't have a horn. He doesn't. Very nice. Okay. That was tricky. Got the sacramental bud. I've been needing some of this so badly. Um, I wish that it would respawn though. It doesn't seem to come back quickly. Is he eating his body? He is eating his friend. The Sacramental Bud so far has not actually respawned at any point. And why the hell are these guys cannibals? What are you guys doing? I 
I don't understand what's happening here. You guys have beast blood. Does it make a lot of sense? Lord Sworn Bolt, okay. That's a normal drop, but why beast blood? These guys must be going crazy. Alright, so we could technically go around this way, but there was like a mad pumpkin warrior and things like that just over here. So let's just circle around. Hold on. There you go. Gotta get situated here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Go ahead and take these guys out. Anything with a two-handed sword is always going to be more of a problem. So we'll go ahead and take these guys out while they're not paying attention. Still really upset about that Gelmir Hero's Grave. Like, I feel like I missed the mark there on that jump. There could have been a pathway on the side or something. I think that's where it is. I will find it. I'll figure out the secret. Very nice. This bro's gonna go to sleep and he's gonna get the worst of it. Because I had to wait. There you go. I love this sword. It inflicts sleep and it is amazing. I found it in uh, Kaelid and I've been using it ever since. Very lightly, but I now use it for just like some fun encounters like that. Okay, there's the Mad Pumpkin Warrior just right over here, I think. There he is. He's over there just crushing stuff. Nice. probably would have snuck up on me if I didn't destroy you. So let's see. Dodge. Oh, or not. Oh, lovely. Oh my gosh. He hit the wall, which saved my life. This guy's going down now. I'm angry. A nice slam attack. This guy is a master of close quarters combat. Dead. All you ever give me are the Sanctuary Stones. I want your helmet. Every time. I've killed so many of them. I don't know if it's a, a drop or like a fa an item you can find like in a chest. But I would really like to know. Because if I could get that uh, Mad Pumpkin Helm, shoot. I might upgrade it with my Prisoner Helm. But you know I probably wouldn't. Not this playthrough. But still, I want it. I definitely want it. Part of that 99% completion I keep talking about. Somebody else is throwing those lightning bolts at me? No, okay. Good gosh. Yeah, somebody must be throwing them. I don't know where though. Who is throwing those things? Oh, you. <laughs> is there a way up that tower? I see a ladder over here, maybe so. I didn't even see that before, but if had, had he not been throwing those um, cracked pots at me, I would never have known. We've got 8,000 runes. We definitely lost like 40,000 just a few moments ago, but that's eh, fine. It happens. It happens. Let's go up here and destroy that guy that was throwing the cracked pots at us. Let's see. Get a backstab just to finish him off. This genius is still throwing these pots. A little fall damage will do the trick. Got some fire arrows, and we can come up here and see what they got. I'll circle around that other path too, the one that was that dude was throwing stuff from us at, but that's fine. And what's this? The pulley bow. We got a pulley crossbow just a few moments ago. Let's take a look at this uh, this projectile weapon here. This is the pulley bow. A longbow which utilizes a series of pulleys and springs, the complex mechanism which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft, was made, or was likely made, by a certain genius who learned Golden Order fundamentalism. Enhances precision while shooting, enabling arrows to fly much further distances. Okay, and it's got the mighty shot. So it doesn't shoot more than one arrow, it just enhances the... I guess the distance which they can fly. So maybe if it has units, see range is 55 versus a bow right here is 29. Good gosh. The longbow has 50. Some of the crossbows are a little bit short on the range for sure. 
Yeah, okay. So 55, okay, it slightly increases it. Nothing too crazy. It requires 11 strength and 11 dex. That could be a cool bow to use for our character. And if you guys are wanting that bow for yourself, all you have to do is head over to this little structure here. It is on the other side of this, um, I guess, Mount Galmir right here. So in order to get to this plateau, you do need to actually come up through uh, from the Dectus, the Grand Lift of Dectus, the Erd tree gazing hill area you'll see this little path here and you circle along this way if you go through this valley and circle all the way around you have to follow this path all the way around you'll find a, a uh, like a land bridge you cross that land bridge and then you'll pass the Gelmir heroes cave and if you go up the tower where the mad pumpkin head is as long as the lane as well as the lane dale soldiers that are pretty much cannibalizing each other you can find that weapon there really cool i'm glad we found the 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 sister bow to that pulley um, crossbow as well, so pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and drop down now. Don't want to die, so I'm not going to actually jump down. I'll just drop down safely. And then we'll take this ladder as well. We'll go ahead and drop down. Very nice, and then now we can cross this bridge and see where this takes this looks like a whole nother area so we're on this like upper area of the Mount Gelmir region so it's all new to us so far let's see I'm expecting a battle here but I don't see anybody oh there you go a grafted scion very nice Okay. There you go. Got that grafted sign out of the way. I had to go ahead and switch to my hook claws because I did not want to have that battle go on too long. That one seemed to have different abilities different armor and much more powerful so I was like I'm not gonna wor worry about that we got the scavengers curved sword let's go ahead and take a look at that weapon as well this causes blood loss buildup of 45 scavengers curved sword. that looks beastly a unique curved sword notched like shark's teeth a weapon carried by corpse pillagers who prowl the sites of old battles the blade is tacky with blood and covered in hefty nicks making it totally uneven life can be sinister indeed and the skill is spinning slash this deals a pretty decent amount of damage and it scales with strength and dexterity essentially a quality weapon if you will but not bad the scavengers curved sword it has 45 uh, blood build up and if you guys want that scavenger sword for yourself it's the same path we just talked about except you have to cross the second land bridge over here i feel like we're going to be pretty much stuck at this point and not able to go anywhere else until we uh, find a way up here on this pathway, which we may not have done yet. All right. So one thing that I'd like to see is from this area, is there a way down onto that other side like where that bridge is? If not, I do know the way to get there. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that bridge looks like it would kill us. Yeah, that's a deadly fall. Is there not a safe way down? Yeah, no spirit geysers or anything. Okay. So I know a way over there anyways, but that's unfortunate that we're going to have to go all the way around. I know the closest side of grace, so we should be all right, though. Let's go ahead and take this ladder up. I guess the grafted sign was the only uh, kind of point of interest there, so we'll go ahead and head up. Look at those graphics. Good gosh. PS5. I love you. Go ahead and flask up right here. It is a pretty game. All right. Got another ladder takes us all the way over there. This is kind of reminiscent of like the dragon area. At least to me in Dark Souls 2 with all the crazy ladders everywhere. We got some marionettes. 
Let's search the bottom area first, just to make it easy for myself. Otherwise, I'm going to have to keep going up and down, up and down. I'd rather just stay on one level, search, and then come around. going to malfunction. I'm going to go ahead and kill him. Very nice. Take out those enemies really quickly. We got um, our flask replenished, so they're probably going to do that each time we defeat a handful of marionettes, so cool with that. What the heck is going on? Got to get this sacramental bud. Very nice. Two hits will do the trick with St. Trina's Blade. That sword is incredibly high upgraded, so it's like super powerful right now. Got some more sacramental bud. Very nice. Again, I don't know if any of this uh, bud will actually replenish or respawn. You know, it's, I'm a little concerned about that, actually. What the heck is this? Smoldering ruins, and then we have some other stuff here. Some trolls. I feel like I might have been there before on the other side, but I definitely didn't explore it all the way, so we need to go back down. One of the other pathways is just, let's just say, uh, here. That way I know exactly where to go. Okay. And then, of course, we have to go inside the Volcano Manor at some point. This is actually Mount Gelmir, which is its area, but the uh, I guess the castle area would be... The volcano manor so there's pl plenty of about plenty of things still to explore so even though we've been in this region we haven't actually gone to the castle in this region yet or the little legacy dungeon as they call it oh my goodness got a magma bro here seriously these things like to cause bleed and stuff too. Go ahead and stab you. Take you out. If you get crazy like that again, I will definitely pull you down with the gravity well, so don't try it again, little guy. We got an okay, we got another ladder. It's not, fortunately. I'm glad. I, there's too many pathways. I start freaking out. I'm like, okay, we got way too many ways to explore here. We got some more marionette soldiers. Let's see. There's another one down there, too. They're not doing their fast shooting. That's weird. weird. Strange behavior. All right, let's go ahead and uh, work our way around. We have two ladders to climb up. We'll go up the shorter one first and then the taller one. Let's see if we can ride Torrent. Very nice. Oh, maybe not. There you go. I always accidentally cancel summoning torrent for some reason. We've got this one over here. That one's gonna be way taller, so we'll go up the shorter one first. See where it takes us. Go ahead and flask up, because we got all our flasks replenished anyway, so we're good. Okay, this is just kind of one of the higher levels, but there's still another what the heck? What the heck was that? Oh. I thought something dropped down, but I didn't see anything. I didn't see that marionette at all. <laughs> okay, we got some great arrows. We have another platform. So we got to go on this, down this one now because this one right here seems to take us all the way to the top. This one's just another little platform, so... We'll drop back down, slide down this ladder. Our head's like glistening right now because it's all wet. It's so cool. I love the rain effect, how it kind of drenches your clothes in water. Okay. And when it's raining, fire damage is decreased, so something to note. But lightning damage is increased when you're getting drenched in the rain. Okie dokie. So now we're up here. We'll go ahead and see. Oh, oh it's a merchant. Dear customer. Hey. Yes, right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please Sounds like a plan. Buy something. I'm hungry. I've been. 
always hungry. Okay, so we can get this. We have 15,000 runes. Let's see. We have the Guilty Hood. He's got a kind of... Oh, and the Confessor Hood. Very nice. We have... Uh, this is the build that I'm using for my alternate play file. I have multiple fit play file... Or uh, alternate playthroughs. Or alternate files that I'm using to try out the different endings and things like that. Alternate pathways. Experimenting with the mechanics. And the Confessor is really fun. It's an excellent looking outfit as well. The cape looks so nice. Let's go ahead and pick up the uh, the cookbook. This will teach us the volcano pot and the rope volcano pot. We can pick up the stone sword key as well and the uh, guilty hood. This is a coarse hooded cloak of olive brown, the garb of those accused of lesser crimes indicated by the color of sharpened branches. Interesting. Uh, let's see. We don't really need bolts. Um, we'll find them along the way anyway, so nothing too special there. Awesome. Now you should have plenty of food, sir. Plenty of runes for food. Let's see what's up here. Probably this might actually be the very top, and then we'll have to probably go down and search the other one. That's what it feels like. But we'll see. This one seems excessively long. Yep. It's okay, though. We have to find out one way or the other which is the way out. So if I have to go down one more time, it's fine. I don't care. I'm in no rush. Where the heck is this, though? Got yeah, more of these geniuses. Oh, no. They're frenzy. Oh, he's super mad. Okay. Damn it. I'm going to flask up. This guy's using his... Oh, yep. His madness techniques. I don't even know what that one is. Not familiar with that one, good sir. Three. Okay, very nice. Dodge away. Going to sprint in. Nice. I'm glad he tried to cast a sorcery there because that could have been bad if he actually was able to get it off. I don't know what those attacks are, but whenever you get frenzied or madness, that is never a good thing. So since we're up here on this plateau, let's go ahead and search and see what's up here just in case. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at in relation to this, uh, the map here. I have no clue. Alright, so we're up here. I guess we can have torrent. There's a lore stone up there. Uh, be careful not to fall off here. This looks unique. The Eye of Yella. Oh, that's right. So we're definitely near madness, that's for sure. The Assault on Volcano Manor. The squalor, the sick, the blasphemous. A wretched, unending war with no glory. Sounds about right. So these are all going to be frenzied dudes, huh? I'm going to take these guys out pretty quickly. He's got a great sword. We got the Eye of Yella. Oh, gosh. He's still just casting that stuff like crazy. Almost inflicted madness, but also wasted his life on that. That gamble. Go ahead and pick up these yellow embers. I'm glad there's not like an eye in the sky like in that other area in the Frenzied Flame Village, because that area is pretty bad. Lots of terrible stuff happening there. So I wonder why that uh, Eye of Yellow was purple. I guess it's a relatively rare flower or material, so that makes sense, I guess. Most of the, the flowers like that cause certain types of stas effects are considered rare anyways. Like the Arteria leaf and things like that. There's some more crystal bud down there. Got another marionette. What are you doing? Okay, <laughs> he was just running off in the distance. Very nice. 
two hits should do the trick. Very nice. And those guys really try and get in on you. I thought it was one of those uh, grafted birds or the grafted hawks from the kingdom, but nope, those are just avian marionettes, which are pretty bad. They have high mobility, so that can be a real problem. Yep, I was already down there because I killed the marionette. Perfect. And that's our little friend, the merchant, that now has enough runes to make a sandwich. Let's see here, these guys are kind of dead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got those as well. Okay, so I guess this was literally just an alternate path. I don't see anything of use here. Except, oh, never mind, except these little sacramental bud. Only one, though, gosh. I'm telling you, they're really cheap with that, and I need that to craft. The preserving boluses for my scarlet rot or my lake of rot uh, cleanup that I'm going to be doing at the end of this stream. Not the end of this stream, but the end of this playthrough. So, man. They're just really holding out on the sacramental bud. And we have no clue if it respawns at those nodes because the other sacramental bud that we know of its, you know, confirmed locations that we've seen and obtained ourselves, we have not been able to find any more. So, that is concerning. That's fine. We'll end up beating, we'll be so high leveled for the Lake of Rot, I hope by the end of this stream, we'll be, not the end of the stream, but the end of the game or this playthrough, that we'll be able to just knock them out. Okay, so we have this island over here, and then this. Uh, more demi-human. Nice, I'm glad he missed, that would have hurt me. And these aren't throwing pots or anything, so that's always good. The ones that throw those cracked pots are just nuts. Okay, he's running off to the side there. And he's probably dead. Nope, not yet. Okay. You have a lot of health. Now you're dead. Okay. Let's go search over here real quick. See if there's anything on this cliffside. I've got the Trina's Lily. And that is probably it for that. We'll see if our little friend dropped anything. Nope. There's some more demi humans over here, little baby ones. They're blocking a cavern, it seems. Gosh, this game never ends. And not in a bad way, it's just a long game. With a lot of content. I guess you could make it really short because of my I'm play, I've been playing this particular file for like probably 90 hours or so and my level 1 playthrough is probably like 8 hours. So there's a huge difference there. Oh, we have 0 runes. We have 8,500 runes. That's not going to do the trick. We'll go ahead and activate our lantern and we're going to go for the safe strat. So we're going to go ahead and equip our shield and the uh, St. Trina's straight sword or whatever the hell it's called what is this thing called sword of saint trina and we got these geniuses over here good thing we're not fighting them at night time because they're much more relentless at night Let's go ahead and finish them off with this strike right here nice guard counter all right so that's where we came from we have this cave over here and we have a handful of other passages let's see uh, yep, a bunch of passages. Okay. So we have three different pathways to take. I always like to go left first. That way I just kind of understand. Like, I go clockwise. Helps me keep track of where we're going. There we go. This little dude's dead. We'll go ahead and keep our shield up just in case we get another ambush like that. Got a demi human chief. Got some of these geniuses. Go. Looks like hit the wall, unfortunately. There you go. I think everybody's dead. Except this little guy. Oh, and that guy. Okay, great. Get a backstab so I can see what the heck's going on. Go ahead and flask up. 
I'll flask up twice just to top off my health. And we'll grab some cave moss. Let's see, looks like they're just eating on, munching on bones. There's a boss already. But this cave has three pathways, so there's no way we're done yet. Got a lump of flesh and some budding cave moss. So we know the boss is over here. We'll grab this cave moss as well. We know that's right there. No worries. It's really easy. It's just the leftermost path in this little cavern here. So let's come back where we came from. And I think the path that was kind of like in the middle, it probably drops down even further. So maybe you don't want to do that one, but let's just double check. This one right here seems like it drops down. Yeah. And there's an item up there. Okay. Oh, I see. That's actually the top of where we're just at. See, I would have fallen down and then the demi-human would have been all mad at me. Okay. Fair enough. I took some heavy damage there from that fall. We have plenty of flasks. I'll go ahead and use one to top off my health. And then instead, we're going to go this other way. Because I don't think I can make the jump to take me across that, uh, that crevice there to actually make it and land on that platform. So probably not going to happen. This might be the way around, though. Uh, let's see. Golden room six. That's the pile of bones. Okay, this cave is tiny. So we already got it mapped out, at least in my brain I do. Let's see where this leads. Those little dudes dead. They have so much like tenacity, like slow down. It's fine, you know? Alright, what do we got here? Okay, ambush, ambush, backstab, okay, or not, we'll get a guard counter on this little guy, well, we'll just poke him if he's going to keep moving around, there you go, that'll work too, we got a sliver of meat, and we got this purple item here, the arteria leap times three, so not a bunch of good stuff, but and it's better than nothing. We got the coil shield. That looks cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. The coil shield. Well, hold up. This causes poison buildup times 72. An armament designed for gladiatorial combat rises above its peers as a particularly showy specimen. <laughs> yeah. The sculpted bronze snake is a poisonous breed boosting the wielder's resistance to poison and it has a unique skill called viper bite give the shield a quick shake to temporarily bring the bronze viper to life inciting it to lash out and bite foes that is insanity i just wish that it had a hundred percent physical damage reduction because it does not but that is the coil shield it is a small shield um that doesn't really allow you to parry but instead actually causes poison buildup so shield only runs definitely that's definitely in the and the stars or the cards so to speak so shield only for sure I'm thinking torch only as well and then poison only as I mentioned earlier oh yeah we got all kinds of good stuff coming up guys just you wait but anyways if you want the coil shield that's actually found in the volcano cave that is like the northernmost part of uh, Mount Gelmir and the only way that I know how to get there anyways is by kind of circling around through this entire area here. You have to go through the Seathwater uh, River area, circle around all the way past the Seathwater Terminus. You circle around here past the Hermit Shack, the Craftsman Shack, Hermit Village, cross this natural land bridge past our friend the Primeval Sorcerer Azer, and then you're going to go around this land bridge here. And uh, once you finally come across this one, then you can kind of explore the rest of this area here um, so yeah that's it it's the volcano cave and at the end of it once you actually go on the one of the routes that's not towards the boss fight but the furthest route you can from the boss you can actually obtain the coil shield for yourself that's a really cool shield by the way all right so let's go up here now drop back down now we're straight to the boss should be pretty straightforward here. I'm actually going to do something like that here. Change up the loadout. Got a demi human queen Margot. Okay. Got a Maggie, Margot, and the other demi human queen wasn't named. She 
She's everywhere. She didn't have her staff either. She bites really hard. But she's dead. That's demi human queen Margot. And we got the jar cannon. Let's take a look at that for sure. Jar cannon. That must be like a projectile or something. Are we getting all bloodborne in this piece? Oh gosh, I hope so. Ranged weapons. We got the jar cannon. This is awesome. 34 strength required. A jar cannon which uses explosives to fire great bolts. Deals great damage but is slow to reload. Experimental firearm brought to the assault on Volcano Manor, where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it. The skill is kick. It does require 34 strength and 12 dexterity, but it seems like it does a massive amount of damage just right out of the box. And it doesn't have any scaling at all, so that is incredibly interesting. Um, anyways, if you guys want the jar cannon, it is in Volcano Cave, so all you have to do, of course, is make that same path I told you at, told you about in Mount Gelmir. It's in the northernmost part of Mount Gelmir. I am going to show you guys just for the sake of if you skip to the timestamps in this video. I want to make sure you know exactly how to get it. So once you make your way to the uh, Altus Plateau, if you just head north here, um, you can pass the Erdtree Gazing Hill, and then you'll find a little ramp near Rosa's statue. If you come here past the Wyndham Ruins, go to Seathwater River, you got to circle around all the way around here until you get past the Seathwater Terminus. You're going to keep circling around the mountain itself, past Hermit Shack, the Hermit Village, and then you're going to cross this natural land bridge here. Once you do, there'll be a second land bridge near this Mad Pumpkin Warrior, and then you'll take a series of ladders up on this highest plateau up here, go north, and then you'll see the Volcano Cave. Defeat the Demi-Human Queen Margot, and you'll get the Jar Cannon for yourself. Very cool. I guess I can show you guys what it looks like as well. Well, no, it's fine. You saw it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and uh, escape. We'll return to the entrance, if it lets me. And then we have a few other areas to search. Uh, south of this um, plateau that we're on is something we need to search. And then, of course, we need to drop back down to the lower area, if possible. Looks like it is... Okay, good. It's nighttime, so these guys are going to be crazy now. Got to be very careful. When you're fighting demi-humans at night, they do have increased attack power and they're much more uh, ferocious they are definitely creatures of the night all right so we got a falcon they usually carry those we're gonna go right over here this is gonna be waypoint number two we're gonna try and bypass some of those frenzied soldiers if we can Well, that was easy enough. Okay, hopefully a dragon doesn't just come and knock me off this bridge. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 vibes. I'm going to tag this side of grace. And look at that long-ass ladder there. I have no clue why anybody would choose to use that ladder instead of just taking this up. But let me search around first, just in case there aren't any secrets. Some nascent butterflies over here. If we're careful, we can grab them. Eh, we're not careful. Okay, okay, we're careful, I guess. I say, like, or we can fall off the cliff. Either way. Why would anybody not do that? Oh my gosh! We got a full-grown beast this time. What the hell is it? Okay, here goes. Seems the same as the normal falling beast. One. Oh, he got me on the second strike already. Okay, he's a little bit different in his patterns then. Ah, that rocks thing was really nasty as well. One. Gonna go ahead and heal. He's only doing two. Okay, he's, his patterns are way different. Health is insane too, okay. What if I switch over to this? Block. Damn, okay, this guy's strong. Gonna be a nasty one right here, yep. Switch to our shield. Dodge this, gonna flask up. Okay, 
same timing there at least. Nice. Little tail scrape there. Tail swipe. This guy's everywhere. He looks just like the creature from the relic. Dodge. We got the damage negation bubble to activate there. Dodge his grab attempt. Oh, that was a rock slide. Okay. Got that. That tail swipe is so delayed. It's very difficult to dodge from there. There we go. We're going to go ahead and flask up. Rock slide. A rock sling, I guess. Nice. Look how much damage we've done to him so far. Yeah. That's gonna be hard. I wonder if he can bleed. Tell me, can you bleed? I'm sure he can. Wow, that was rough. Why would anybody want to climb that ladder? Is that like literally if for people that don't have torrent and they're just like going torrent no torrent run oh that's another idea oh gosh okay here goes nothing oh my ass okay got gored to death yep that was close let's try this sir I have sorceries too that not do any damage got to be a better way. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Got the damage negation to proc there. Very nice. Dodge. Nope, or not. Good gosh, he almost knocked me off. Okay, we didn't retrieve our runes, but I wasn't too concerned about 27,000 runes. Pretty sure we can get more than that. Probably double that from defeating this thing. Now, he is a lot harder. He's got a much more rocky exterior. And, man, it's going to take a lot to damage him. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the best weapon would be. I mean, I could try and use these. I guess I haven't blocked at all anyway, so... Maybe it would be ideal to use uh, just my hook claws instead. I'm not blocking anything, I'm mostly doing parries, so. Poorly timed dodge there. Oh, another poorly timed dodge. There you go. Lovely. I gotta get him up on this uh, flatter area here. It's kind of difficult to fight him on the uneven ground, so I want to bring him to my level here if you can. Oh, that delay, you dumb cow thing. Alien cow. Okay, ready? You can fight me down here. You gotta choose, bro. You gotta either fight me down here or fight me up there, but you cannot keep dancing around. Lovely. Oof. That's a different looking attack. Rock sling, okay, very nice. That causes bleed. Dodge. Come down here, please, sir. Dodge. And the third attack should result in a little uppercut there, nice. Tail swipe and scrape. Oh, that's a faster one, okay, I gotta get used to that one. He's just prancing around. Tail swipe is a slow one. Dodge. Oh my gosh, I dodged way too early. You're so tough. Why are you hitting me so hard? Nice. That's just a sprint one then. Okay. No rolling there. Just pure sprinting. Let me go ahead and dodge right here. This guy's got way too much health. Dodge. And one more dodge. This is like Horizon Zero Dawn all over again. You definitely bleed. Okay. That was a nasty little trick. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flask up. See what he's got here. Two, and even the big one with the dodge. There you go. Very nice. Oh my gosh, that was way too early. That's okay. He just did the one attempt that time. Wasn't so bad. Got the full-grown falling star beast. You're an alien. And you have one eye to prove it. Go! Yes. To grab? No, it's not. Oh gosh. Lovely. Go ahead and use one of our last flasks. This dude's not even half health yet. Oh my lord! Okay. And three. totally backed into that one on accident. Dodge the tail swipe and the scrape. Nice. When he does that, we need to back away. On this fool. Yeah, that's a critical right there that I just missed. Good to know, though. If I can get a crit on him, that would be excellent. I've not seen this attack before. Probably just for the big boys. He's gonna throw those at me. Nope, okay, good. I'm gonna get the critical, see how much that damage does. That's decent. I mean, it's better than nothing. All right, let's see if we can kill this fool. Oh, we got. I, I feel better about that, considering we can stun him, and he does tend to take his time with things too. So, I'll give it a few more shots before I head to bed. Because we gotta get up and either kill him or get up and destroy, uh, explore the rest of the area. So I would rather not kill, be have me be my first boss fight waking up. That's gonna make me sad. We we'll fighting him for hours. We okay. Off. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, I should dodge laterally, not into his head. The hell. I'm gonna go ahead and spam some rock sling. My favorite sorcery of all. You getting cheap on me. Spam some more rock sling, see if we can get some crits. He still gored me. That was nasty. Really good collision detection on that. Nice. We'll go ahead and back away. I might need to re reallocate some rock sling. Uh, I'm um, some FP. Actually knocked him right there. That's unfortunate. I'm not gonna be able to get the crit on him. He's too far. Oh, I barely. I I, I slammed R1 button. Barely got that. I'll take it. Ouch. Two. If I survive this, then I'll go ahead and blast it up. Very nice. We're all out of flasks now, so let's just survive. He's running in circles. I think he can dodge in the most part, too. Very cool. That was a grab attempt. He does not like getting hit in the head. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. Just like Astale's power. Slammed us down, very nice. We had the damage negation bubble, so it didn't do too much. Let's see if I can stand in the head. I'm gonna try that real quick. He is 
is uh, definitely not happy with us right now. And three. Put flask up. I am interested to see if I can do more damage to him if I hit him right in the eyeball. He's gonna sling that thing right. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, that was scary. in the head. What is that? Ah, that was close. Oof. Direct hit, sir. Oh, the rock sling. Should, probably shouldn't use that second one. That's okay, though. One, two, I wish I had some sorceries to sling at him right now. Be fantastic. Then dodge this laterally. Same. Oh, that's the swipe I hate so much. And dodge that. I'm gonna heal even though this could have been a nice punish opportunity, that's okay. Sprint to the side. Sprint. And dodge. See if we can get some punish in here. Uh, nope, he's doing the same thing again. Two, and then we're going to go ahead and dodge. Can I get a bonus hit here, please? Oh, I can't. Yeah, I had to change. I had to fix my glasses. Dang it. Sprint out of range. I need to slam everything down. Ooh, that hurt me anyway. That was terrible. And my greed is gonna be what got me. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. One last blast. Dodge. Oh, the rock sling. I didn't expect that. Okay, that's fine. Here's the good old charge. We'll get him this next time, though, even if we die. I don't plan on dying, but it'd be nice to have a little bit more health. Yep. Oh, full-grown falling star beast. You're mine. You're as good as mine. Can you imagine that level one? You better believe I'll do that. Falling Star Beast. Okay. Oh, you know what I need to do? Allocate one more to the good old Rock Sling. So we're going to allocate our flasks here. And we'll change it back. I like to have at least 10 in health, even though it's a little excessive. Very nice. All we need to do is allocate our charges. Now we have 11. Plus, I think the two in good shape here. Let's go ahead and uh, allocate the flask charges. So, yeah, we have 13 flasks. Very nice. I'm happy with that. Another thing we can do is let's get rid of some of these sorceries as well. I don't need to memorize all of these either. So, get rid of that. I think I'm happy with those. All right, here goes. Oh. Up we go. go. We cannot turn that sharp. That's great. Let's see if we can come down here. <coughs> Cast some rock sling. I dodged way too early. Right in the eyeball. Could not get any critical hits on him. That's okay though. I'm gonna sprint. <clears throat> and we're gonna dodge right there and heal. Very nice. 
nice. He did not like that. I'm going to dodge this charge here. Dodge again. And then this one will be the finale right here. Oh, we got tagged right in the face. That's okay. Nice. We got the iframes for that rock thing attack. One, two, and the big one. Three. I didn't mean to use that kind of flask, but that's okay. Kind of wasted our FP there. It's okay. It happens. It's late. Got the uh, damage negation from my little bubble. We can just stop him. There you go. Perfect. Very reminiscent of the Astel encounter. Oof. Wasn't anticipating that at all. Rock Slam. Flask up. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, and I'm gonna use this to see if stop him. And we gotta back way away. That was scary. Fortunately, that thing doesn't really have a lot of distance to it. Oh, I'm definitely going to hit him. We stunned him, though. I'm just going to hit him as much as possible. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Definitely didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Dodge. Okay. And the tail swipe that I'm expecting. Dodge. Okay, very good. If I hadn't used my FP, we would have still had plenty of these on the man. This crazy AOE right there. Get this out of the way, it's annoying. Dodge. You are trying it. Dodge, okay. Tail swipe. Waiting for that rock slaying here any minute now. Tail swipe, I do not like you today. Being very, very random. And he's spamming some of those attacks there too. Dodge, hope we don't get hit by that. Try to dodge this one here. Alright. Nice rock sling. That was a grab attempt. That might kill us, I don't know. Spamming the shoulder bugs here though. Two, we have three more heals left, so we should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and dodge all these little charge attempts here. And he's doing this thing, that's right. Phase two, he changed that third uh, charge or lunging attack into his uh, hyper beam cannon. Okay, that was a kind of a abbreviated version of his other sorcery. So we can go ahead and dodge this, dodge this, and then dodge. Go ahead and punish if we can. Tail swipe. We'll go ahead and flask up. Rock sling. Come here, beautiful. Very nice. Ah, he ran away again. Okay, there you go. Good night. The full grown. Falling Star Beast has been defeated. Streamlabs says, uh, oh, what's up, man? Thank you, Jigsaw, for the raid. Appreciate that, my brother. Thank you so much. We got the Somber Smithing Stone 6. Welcome, Raiders. Smithing Stone 6 and the Falling Star Beast Jaw. Let's see what that is. The Falling Star Beast Jaw. 
That must be a melee weapon, I'm assuming. Yep. This one requires 34 strength. This is a colossal weapon. A part of a falling star beast jaw, hard and shining black, fashioned into a weapon. With its sharp point, this colossal weapon can skewer foes. The unique skill is Gravity Bolt. Imbue the jaw of falling star beast with gravitational lightning, sending a bolt crashing down a short distance away. Can be fired in rapid succession. So this is the Falling Star Beast Jaw Weapon. It does require 34 Strength, 20 Intelligence, and 12 Dexterity. So if you guys want the Falling Star Beast Jaw, you have to defeat the full-grown Falling Star Beast on top of uh, this uh, crater right here. And it is a pretty difficult boss fight. I definitely encourage you to try it, though, because um, it's just really fun. It's actually a, not a broken fight at all. So if you guys can make it here near the 9th Mount Gelmir campsite, you can actually find the full-grown Falling Star Beast, and once you defeat it, you can get that uh, Falling Star Jaw for yourself. That's an incredible-looking weapon, too, so be sure to grab that if you can. Let's go ahead and come up here and search the rest of this area. We're going to grab the uh, the Starlight Shards, and let's see. I guess that'd probably be the most of what we can loot here. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, there's no safe way down. I bet... Oh, uh, no, I, I don't bet. I was going to say, I bet I could make it onto those rooftops, but I didn't realize they were so far away. I stand mistake. I mean, I, I stand corrected. I'm so surprised that he only gave us 21,000 runes, though. What a cheap bastard. This seems to be the front of the Volcano Manor, which makes perfect sense, considering it's uh, surrounding a pit of, you know, lava. This is the pathway that I thought we could actually climb onto. That's so funny. It's fun. We've finally come full circle. How crazy is that? And this here is how you'd get, I guess, back into the Volcano Manor if you're trying to do that. That is so awesome. Let's see if we can actually teleport back. So now that we're here, this is the actual oops area. So we're a little too close now. We've aggroed these geniuses. So we'll go ahead and finish them off really quickly. Do a R2 to finish them off. Do a jumping RG right here. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage even if it's a malfunction. There you go. Now we can possibly open up our map again. And essentially through the Road of Iniquity, we can go back to the Volcano Manor itself. Um, there was one other area that I wanted to search. So essentially we've come full circle on this entire area here, which is fantastic. I'm going to go over here to the uh, near the Rithblood Ruins area. I think the Bower of Bounty would actually be closer. So we're going to go here first. And then we're going to go up one set of geysers to the uh, the Rithblood ruins and then head west and the reason I want to do that is because I think um, I think that there's a pathway that we might have missed there so let's go ahead and take that waypoint really quickly all right the heck oh yeah that's that <laughs> that puzzle that we hate Let's go back over here, and we're going to uh, take the geyser up. The geyser should be just right in front of us. Geyser number one. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Geyser number one. Here we go. And then we're going to take the second geyser up as well. This is a, two, a series of two geysers. Now we'll be right next to Wraithblood Ruins here to our right. But we're going to take this bridge and actually cross it. This is not something we've done yet. We said we were going to, but we never did because we uh, ended the stream. Do you guys have golden swords? Like, who are you guys? Aristocrats, I say. Have the flashiest weapons, and they don't even know how to use them. All right, let's go ahead and cross this bridge. Hope that it doesn't break down. Looks kind of dilapidated. Kind of like the Shrek from I mean, the bridge from Shrek. We got another side of grace. Go ahead and tag this. Very nice. Which see, let's see what site this is. This is called the Bridge of Inequity. Okay, so there's multiple bridges of inequity. Road of Inequity. And Bridge of Inequity. Okay. Very nice. Let's continue searching around here to see what we have. And then uh, we'll probably end this stream for tonight. We defeated that Falling Star boss. I feel pretty proud of myself. I think I'll be able to sleep well tonight. That was a pretty tough fight, but it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. We weren't dealing hardly any damage at all, but 
Once you change up the strategy just a bit, you can use any build to be incredibly effective. And most bosses do have a weak point, so once you can kind of exploit that, you're golden. I hate mounted combat, but that's fine. Let's see if there's anything over here. We'll grab whatever this guy had for us. A smithing stone one. Hell yeah. We've got a bunch of these. <laughs> oh my gosh. A bunch of those abductor virgins. These are the ones that are like malfunctioning though. So they're a real pain. These are the trolley ones. The upgraded abductor virgins. I don't think they even try and do the grab attacks really. I'll help, guys. Yep, he's definitely getting grabbed. So let's see if I can hit him here. He got stunned? How the hell did he do that? How did they stun him? That's neat. Maybe we just hit it so much. I would have loved to do a critical on it, though, and see what that looks like. Alright, let's go in here, then, and go ahead and grab this right over here. The Blood Rose. Okay, that's never a good sign. That means we're probably going to get invaded or meet one of the bloody fingers here before long so we gotta be very careful got this genius over here, he's got a great so we're gonna take him out quickly so he probably was trying to ambush us you know what a jerk alright let's go up here and see if there's anything at the peak of this little rock formation most likely not We'll grab the mushrooms. Unfortunately, it looks like they mowed down everybody else, so there's nobody to help me destroy the rest of these abductor virgins, which is great. Absolutely great. What are you doing here? Dodge. What are you doing? That's weird. That's different. Okay. Yeah, you're not getting stunned at all, bro. I like the ones with these little uh, Giza wheels instead. They're very nice. Okay, now we got these over here with like the guillotine blades. I don't like these nearly as much. They've got a lot more range. I feel like their attacks are more difficult to dodge. Dodge. I'm trying to see if it can open its... Uh, Little chest cavity open so I could destroy that whole thing there. That's fine. I am waiting for a grab attack. This is not giving me an opening. Try, try and grab me, please. That'll work. I didn't really get a, a critical hit on there, but when that little. I guess. I don't know what it is. That cavity is exposed and. You can just attack it for high levels of damage there. Very nice. Okay, if I can single these things and pick them off, I might have a much better chance. So I'm going to grab this Sacramental Bud while this thing's not paying attention to me. Go ahead and fire some shots off. Hello, friend. Dodge. I'm going to go ahead and flask up. Shoot another few rock slings right at his chest. Ooh, that's not good. Mash the shoulder buttons here to make sure I don't get completely destroyed. Dodge. The damage negation bubble pretty much saved us there. We'll go ahead and spam some R1s here to go ahead and finish it off. Very nice. There's one more creature down. We'll go ahead and flask up as well. Okay. So far, so good. As long as we can keep them, you know, kind of singled out, uh, we should be fine. There's an arteria leaf over there. We'll grab some of this volcanic stone. I don't believe there'll be anything over here. I'm just checking just because I'm crazy like that. Crazy thorough. Okay, so let's see. There's a golem down there. I do believe this is where, uh, hold on, where are we? 
This is the Shaded Castle. Yeah, this is, I, be, I defeated that golem and I fought Mirai down there. So I was like, wait, I know I've seen that golem before. That's a very beefy golem. Got tons of health. Okay. I'm glad I know where we're at. Let's go ahead and uh, pop some of these rock slings to get his attention. Or her attention. And whenever it comes to face us, it should actually open up its chest cavity. Hopefully. Should be a little bit more damage than normal. Ah, oh, it still grabbed us. Okay, no worries. Let me go ahead and mash the shoulder buttons here. And lose my sight here. Oh my, you can burn through the tents, you little dirt. I'm gonna get grabbed again because I'm smart. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's close. Need to go ahead and keep track of her here. And what do we got? An explosive great bolts. Two shots should do the trick. Very nice. Okay, that was terrifying. Go ahead and flask up. Did she drop something for me? That'd be the first drop I've ever got from one of them, but it's not. It's a throwing dagger from this corpse back here. Yeah, the corpses are so generous. All right. I think we've defeated most of them. We actually have been getting uh, a lot of our flasks back almost every time we're defeating them. Because they're pretty tough enemies. They, they have a lot of health and they deal a lot of damage. So I can't imagine fighting more than one at a time. I have fought one in that same kind of instance in a boss fight. But I didn't feel like it was so bad. So we can climb that ladder. Let's see if there's a... Oh, there's a merchant under here, it looks like. Nope, I thought it was a merchant fire, but it's just a troll being burned to death. Okay. That's wonderful. Got some nascent butterflies over here. I can't understand why Torrent's having a tough time climbing up this uh, rock here. Torrent's really good at climbing. I think that's the goat half of him. Alright, let's see what's up here, and then we'll come back down. It'll be really fun to slide down this ladder. Just you wait and see. Wow, this ladder is really long, so we're just uh, making our way up here fortunately you don't actually use stamina while you're outside of combat which is fantastic there's a sight of grace just up above I mean, where the heck are we good gosh all right let's go ahead and tag this sight of grace i can just teleport back here next time which is exactly what i'll do but we're going to drop right back down the ladder so this is where exactly the first mount gelmir campsite so there is the first and then the ninth there are tons of campsites around here. I wonder if there's actually nine campsites. I'd be interested to know. Alright, let's see here. Let me check my map. So we are down here. I guess we could search this area. Oh yeah, and then cross over here. This is what I'm trying to do. Go over here, and then, of course, cross the bridge. See what's by the Erd tree. Uh, let me take a look here and just kind of get an idea what the heck I'm even looking at. All right. Oh, let's do this. I'm just taking notes here. That way I know exactly what to go back and do tomorrow, just in case I end the stream a bit too early. There are bodies everywhere. Like, what the heck happened here? Oh my goodness, that's what happened. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Not fight you, fair. Gonna use our shield instead. Go ahead and take these guys out. I do not like that. They actually had a duo of dogs. A Scarlet Rot Dog and then the random normal bastard dogs there's another puppy dog over here and they got some sacramental butt over there as well while he's just figuring out 
He's still munching on his little human snacks. We're gonna go ahead and go. Oh my gosh. There you go, he's dead too. Grab the rest of this sacramental. But where did that one come from? I mean, these things are sneaky. I hear stuff. I don't like it. We got the golden vow. Looks like an Oh my gosh, we have Anastasia again. You are not nice. There he goes. Oh, I kind of got you in the air. Shoot. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. That When I locked onto her and she jumped up like that, completely threw me off. So I was trying to actually beta strike, dodge out of range, and then heal. Uh, but that didn't happen. And then I tried to dodge out of range, got hit in the face with a giant butcher blade, and died. Okay, so we got to drop back down here again. That's unfortunate. Those dogs are still going to be back down there, so we need to face off with them. This will be a great opportunity to find out if I can somehow farm the sacramental bud. I have a feeling that it doesn't respawn. I feel like the nodes don't ever respawn. The nards. The node nards never respawn. All right, let's go back up. Oh, we got all these geniuses. I'm not going to fight them all over again, unfortunately. Unfortunately for them. He's barking, so he sees us. Looks like a Scarlet Rot dog. He takes a few more hits as well. It's a big boy. He's probably a German Shepherd in another life. An evil German Shepherd. Okay, there's that one dog over there. Where's the other one? I want to kill this one really quickly. Alright. Hopefully nobody else will attack me. We'll go ahead and do... Oh, not that. That's not what I meant to do. Cover from that girl. And she's dead. That is Anastasia, the tarnished ear, for the second time. Ooh, and we got the sacred butchering knife this time. Very nice. Let's take a look at that weapon. Let's see, the sacred butchering knife. This requires 16 strength, 20 dexterity. Very nice, so nothing too crazy there. And then we got a huge carving knife made to cleanly butcher the human body. Signature weapon of the Ogress Anastasia, known to have eaten countless tarnished while disguised as a finger maiden. Restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. Barbaric roar. That is insane. So Anastasia. I'm going to create a marker for that as well. And put butcher. That's how we found the knife. That is insane, guys. That is so insane. If you guys are looking for the sacred butchering knife, all you have to do is defeat uh, Anastasia, the Tarnished Eater, in her second location here at the Corpse Stench Shack. Probably where she actually comes back to eat the flesh and probably feeds those dogs, too. Anyways, if you're looking to get up there, all you need to do is go to the Corp Corpse Stench Shack and uh, defeat Anastasia, the Tarnished Eater. And once she is defeated, you'll get a guaranteed drop of getting that butchering knife good gosh that was awesome absolutely awesome let's see if there's anything else in this uh, shack before we go ahead and leave we did get that vow as well so we can take a look at the incantation that we got here it's called golden vow increases attack and defense for no, no 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 i don't think that's it oh maybe it was all of them sound the same so it's it gets a little confusing but let me just make sure i didn't get a different yeah, no, that was it. That was totally it. Okay. Golden Vow. I feel like we had already seen or obtained that at some point because it looks so similar. There's an incantation of Urtree Worship. Increases attack power and defense for the cast or nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay the activation. This incantation has been taught to knights of the royal capital for generations and knights sent on distant expeditions lean on it as a source of courage. Courage the Cowardly Dog. 
Alright, let's see if there's any more creatures over here. I don't think there's going to be any more dogs, but you never know. Of course, there's an item up there as a little tease. We got a stone sword key as well. Just a teaser. Here we have a nice little item up there. Just out of reach. So I wonder how the heck we're supposed to get to this plateau right here then. Because I want to find out how to get to this Erd tree. It's got to be an Erd tree, right? It's kind of a dead Erd tree, but it's definitely an Erd tree. So we're going to find out how to get there. I was thinking to jump down from here, but there's no way you can safely do that. I, I definitely looked at the different pathways there. We can figure that out, though, next stream. And then, of course, we need to go into the Volcano Manor itself. Um, yeah, I think we've progressed everybody's quest line so far as well. Uh, let's see. The Noble Gold Mask and Scribe Corn are still there. He's actually changed from just Brother Corn to Scribe Corn now. He's fancy now. Let's see if there's any way inside of this area first, and then I'll definitely call it quits. Uh, there's no way that Torrent can make it across, or up. He's amazing, but he can't fly. Well, there was a, a giant ladder up here, right? Oh, that's right. Haha, -ha, that's all we have to do. We go here to the first campsite over here and then we'll be able to reach it okay perfect so this is an excellent stopping point then let's go ahead and grab these rooms just because it's gonna drive me crazy knowing that they're here all night while I sleep oh that's better gold room two gold room three golden room three mm -mm -mm. golden room set got this oh a dog okay what's up thief Somber Smithing Stone 6. Very nice. You know, with that, I'm going to actually mark this. No, I want to do like this. There you go. Now we'll go to the round table hold. And I would, I'm curious to actually see how much we can level up some of these weapons here. We have a bunch of really cool rapiers. Um, and I'm trying to figure out which the best one would be. Uh, let's see here. So. Another thing we wanted to go ahead and do before we end the stream is come back over here and uh, give these twin maiden husks all these bell bearings. Pitya's bell bearing, Celavis's bell bearing, EG's bell bearing, Somber Minor 2, the Glove Gort Picker Bell, Ghost Form Picker Bell. Ghost form picker bell too. So now we have all kinds. So her merchant shop should be just massive at this point. Um, so we can now get somber smithing stone threes. This is incredible. So this reinforces special armaments to plus three. And this goes up to plus four. Very nice. I wonder if there's um a means to obtain the Somber Smithing Stones 1 and 2's as well. There must be. There must be. Okay, uh, we got some Stone Sword Keys, not too worried about those just yet. You know what, I just remembered. If I go to EG, I bet I can buy, yep, all these, see, 1's and 2's. Infinitely. And then we have the 3's and 4's right here. Roger's bell was there. D also has his sorceries. Tops has his, and Celavus had his sorceries as well. That is awesome. Very awesome indeed. Okay, so we could definitely upgrade so many of our things. Uh, we got Patches' bell. I shouldn't have killed this guy, but he was a real jerk. Got the parrying dagger. Why not? Glass shard, that's dumb. I don't know what that's for though, to be honest. Pitya's bell bear. I think I purchased everything from Pitya. He got the weathered map. This is different. You remember he died until he had nothing more to give me. A simple map badly weathered. The weathered map. Okay, interesting. I'm very curious about that now. That's Pitya died. 
and uh, he died after essentially the the uh, Celibus died because the dolls he had made seemingly came to life and killed him and he didn't even see it happen it was very creepy anyways the weathered map okay cool we'll check that out in just a second that's Celibus again we just looked at all these didn't we So this must be like NPCs versus... Well, no, they're all NPCs. I don't know. I don't understand how they break it out like that. One and two. Maybe there's like upgraded shops or something. Got daggers and long swords and all kinds of cool stuff here. Night Helm. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and see what all we can go ahead and... Uh, upgrade it this time we still have quite a few runes on our person so let's take a look nothing down there for us look at the inside of the shield it actually has like a grip and everything that's freaking awesome all right well I took you for dead man. oh I'm not dead yet not even close my friend so we can upgrade this because we have six smithing stones. Actually, we have 14. 14 smithing stone sixes. Wow. This is doing crazy damage. And then we have smithing stone seven. Okay, okay. Wow, we're at 21 there. I mean, I guess, right? I need a bunch more sevens, though, to be honest. These were my three weapons that I used for Dick the entire run, so it's fine. Totally fine. This I wish I could get to plus 10, but I think it needs, yeah, somber, ancient, dragon, smithing stone, something really special. Uh, okay, fair enough. Now, I would like to see if I can increase some of the armaments that I have over here. Let's see here. Uh, let's go instead by, by type. And I would love to increase the power of some of these weapons, like Moon Veil or something like that. Um, but that would probably be for a different kind of run. Another run for a different time. Because I'm just going with the rapiers for now. So, possibly increasing... Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> this would be so cool, the ringed finger. Uh, I'm looking for the rapiers, though, which are probably just a little bit up above. Okay, very nice. Mm. Ornamental straight sword's kind of neat. It is a straight sword, though. These are all also straight swords, so their movesets are really basic, you know? Not a big fan of those movesets, but we could take a look and see at some of these other items here. Um... This one right here, okay. This does not seem to do a ton of damage, but it's the Ant Spur Rapier. That's got Scarlet Rot Buildup, which could be beastly. And then, of course, we have the Bloody Helis, but that requires 17 Arcane. I have 12 Arcane right now. But dedicating 5 more points to Arcane just for a little bit of Blood Moss, like, I don't know how useful that would be. I'm just going to save them for now, then. Definitely going to save our resources for now. This sword is just so incredible, though. So simple. So incredible, nonetheless. And we've got Ro uh, Ro Roger's Rapier uh, upgraded to pretty much, like, what? Like, plus 19 now? It's insane. Yeah, we've got... I think you can go all the way up to 25 on normal weapons. Plus 10, I believe, on special, so... Okay. So now we're good here. Let's see what we need to do. Um, I don't believe there's anything I can purchase from these guys. I'll double check, but I think we already have the uh, equipment. Let me see. Oh, nice. Briar Helm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Now we have like the Blasphemous set. Oh, wow, this is incredible. A battered iron helm from a foreign land, worn by Elmer of the Briar. The winding, rusted iron briars are a mark of the guilty and typically indicate a sense of death. 
Elmer murdered numerous instructors and merchants and was known as the Bell Bearing Hunter. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at this set real quick. This looks great. Obviously we're gonna be heavy. But just look at it. Oh my gosh. This looks just like something straight out of Blasphemous. Actually I don't wanna oh I can't hit the the fingers, that's great. Look at that. It's all twisted up and stuff too. Good gosh. That looks amazing. Let's take the status to see how heavy we are right now. Oh gosh. 48 out of 65. I bet if I did this though, check this out. I bet if I just were to do something silly like this and equip the uh, the Great Jar's arsenal, we'd be back to a medium load. Yep. And mind you, we have three weapons and a shield and everything too. That is insane. Okay. Well, let's go back to the wing seal, of course, but it's just fun to look at for sure. That is definitely something straight out of Blasphemous, though. I can't believe they actually have all that. The prison is set. Oh, yeah, the prison. I don't even have. Uh, I guess. Gloves or any kind of weapon there. Gauntlets. Okay, so we're good there. We purchased all the armor. We've pretty much expended all the rest of our runes as well fantastic the only other thing I'd like to possibly do is see if we can come up to uh, Stormvale Castle gotcha the grafted see if we can get these guys going you know I didn't see if Nefeli Low was there but I'm gonna see if I can just keep progressing time they continue to be there so I don't understand why he's still just doing stuff he's still stomping on Godric but at this time it's like bro like let it go there you go he's finally stopped nope he's not stopped at all we'll go and pass time against go to nightfall this time he's still stomping I'm just kidding yep he's still stomping okay I gotta see what's going on with this guy why do you insist I can do can I? You can, but instead you choose to just do that. Apparently, Nefeli Low and Kenneth Height are supposed to be here, but I have no clue why they're not. I've tried speaking to them multiple times. Let's see, is Kenneth Height still here? Let's check this out real quick before we wrap this up. All right, up we go. Remember, Kenneth Height uh, was in his tower. We spoke with him and Nefeli Low, but oddly, his NPC marker is not here. So, leads me to believe something bad may have happened. I'm gonna be really sad if he died because I did everything that I could to try and complete his quest. We'll go ahead and take all these guys out just to make sure that they don't do anything crazy and accidentally kill him. Grab some glass shards for our hard work. This dude. It's so funny when the enemies jump, but they're actually pretty good at it. Okay, everybody's calm now. I must begin my sort of true and I'm for a true. Yep. And then what about Nefeli though? Nefeli um, was at the bottom. I forgot to check on her. She should be near uh, Master Hugh over here. 
Let's just double check. I don't know why. Yeah, they're not moving and from this area. Maybe I just need to progress further in the story for them to actually choose to move onward. And let's check Fia's old area. I wish she would have left me something. I mean, other than the Mending Rune of Death, which is pretty awesome, but still. Would have been nice. Alright, well. I think that's all she wrote then, in that case. Let's go ahead and now teleport back to where we we're supposed to go. And then we'll go ahead and end the stream there. I think we're right here. Mount Gelmir, the first Mount Gelmir campsite. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this stream. I think we accomplished so much this time. I had a blast exploring Mount Gelmir. This place is massive. And uh, we will be streaming tomorrow, so be sure to stay tuned. We're going to find our way over to this uh, dead Erd tree over here and see if we can hopefully make our way across. Search this plateau before we enter the Volcano Manor itself. We'll be doing some assassination quests as well, and we'll put on that hat and uh, hopefully explore as much as possible. But anyways, you guys are amazing. I appreciate your viewership as always, and uh, so until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out. Now, I am going to leave you guys with some uh, credits, so just bear with me one moment, okay? We're going to do credits, and you guys have a great rest of your day.